Okay. Guys, you black and beige, go. I had a guy in Atlantic City at the boat show come up to me. He's like, hey, buddy, are you good? Are you hungover? I'm like, what do you mean? <laughs> You pulled me out from your show in Atlantic well, City. Well, Detroit. listen, it's the first day of West Palm, right? So we're good. Oh, right, right, right. Uh, Black oh, Tippet, what's on, the on, booth on. number? 307. I can 307. Do the whole thing. I can do the whole okay, thing. hold on, guys. You know what we're going to have to do just for like jokes? We're going to have to get like a, a blue tape with with just a line, right? <laughs> and the last day, we'll do it for the last day. And every morning, yeah, you see I'll come. <laughs> Don't embarrass me, please. No. I'm serious. Why would I embarrass you, man? Are we brothers or what? Brothers from other mothers, you know? Guys, welcome to Palm Beach. I'm actually tired of the show. Yeah, I bet you are. That, I've been following everything you've been doing. Okay, okay. so this is the walkthrough of the entire show. We're gonna show boats and all that stuff. We just started. You don't wanna miss it. Don't skip to the good parts. You wanna watch it entirely. But we have a problem. We got a big problem. A very big problem. Big, big problem. Well, and actually, it's it's a really small problem. It's a small problem, guys. But it's a very big one. It's a Alfred. big, small problem. I am at this man's mercy right now. Why? Well, it looks like you forgot something at home back in who knows where, Miami. Miami. Which is like three and a half hours with traffic. Yeah, guys. Um, What'd you forget? I lost, well, I forgot my SD cards to come work today. Can you believe that? Who You had one job. I did have one job. One job. Uh, and you messed it up. Uh, okay, so you listen. messed it up. I am at his mercy right now. I have one card. I have another camera there on the gimbal. What do you want to do? Well, first off, you should tell them that a good salesman always carries a pack of extra SD cards in his pocket. So, you know, I was able to loan one to Alfred. So he didn't have to loan. drive back to Miami loan. and go get his What SD do you mean, card. loan? Well, of course, I need it back. How I'm am I going to give it to you. Guys, all right, well, okay, so look, we're going to start the video here because you saved me. What do we have here? Isn't this the boat that we actually did a video of? It sure is. In fact, we did the same thing in Miami, and I spent three hours yeah. with you. And what did you do? My camera broke that tape. I'm starting to think it's you, Daniel. Oh, it's me? I'm it's, bringing the bad guys, luck? Guys, hey, comment below if it's Daniel or if Nobody it's me. Nobody got to see that video. It was amazing. It we, was a beautiful we video. We did a sea trial. It, it did, but Brand you did a- Brand new V6, 350 Yamahas. That guys, boat was awesome. Was Daniel from Tuppence Marine. Um, Welcome gonna, to Palm Beach. We're going to do this video. We're going to start to walk through now. We're going to walk the entire show. That's uh, right. Daniel. <laughs> Let's do it. I only have one SD card. I can't have four hours of this. Okay, so I gotta keep it quick. 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 I can do that. All right. I can do what are we? What are we gonna see real quick? This, the, the new Key I West. I wanna show you guys the brand new flagship for Key West boats. Okay. This is the Key West 291 Family okay. Sportsman. All right. And it's here at the Palm Beach Boat Show for the first time. All right, let's go. Guys, Come on. let's, let's go. go. Get in there. And we begin the entire walkthrough of the Palm Beach show. All right, Daniel, get him. That was a pretty corny intro, huh? It was corny, but we, we, we strategize in that way. Anything to get views. What about the Viking? Remember the Viking thing that we did together? That was pretty cool. That was cool. Okay, sure so. Many people have probably asked you to take that video down. Well, listen, <laughs> um, wait for it. Yeah, all right. Um, Pathfinder, what's up with these? 2300 HPS, you guys probably know it, like by the bow they had one. Gorgeous boat. What a beautiful, best riding Pathfinder in my opinion. I really like it. This one's available at the show. What's it going for? 126. 126, okay. But come on, let's, let me show you what you really came here for. You okay. came here to see the all new Key West 291 Family Sports. Look at this, windless Lumar anchor. Look at that baby. Full, full color. This is manta gray, and it's all the way down with the boot stripe, black and chrome. All right, guys, and we'll get we'll get some audio. Uh, remember, I'm running and gunning, so I don't have an audio on anybody. Watch your step. I, well, I don't need a lawsuit I, over here. It's it's a little late there. What about shoes? You, I'm good. Who shows up to a boat show with stilettos? Come on, leave. Leave my stilettos alone. Um, Welcome to boat. this badass boat. This is an awesome boat. If you're looking for the best boat for the sandbar, cruising up and down the intercoastal, and it can still do fishing too, I think I got your boat right here. Okay, first and foremost, let me say that I have personally done a sea trial, not on this particular boat, but on this new model. 
yep. in Miami with you. We did a video and regrettably. The new Yamaha V6, 350 horsepower, the lightest ones in the market. Which were amazing. Oh, yes. Which were amazing. And, and they're available at Tuppen, so if you want a pair or four. Okay, so brand new, What's what are the differences? I want the people that are gonna wanna see this yeah. Key West, because yeah. nobody's gonna know this yeah. Key West better than you. Well, you could actually go to my channel if you want to go to Daniel's Outdoors. I did a full walkthrough on this. Guys, what are you doing? <laughs> oh, well, you're telling me to hurry up. You're a competition. You no. Okay, okay. If people are interested and they want to see a full walkthrough properly done by yours truly, just hop on over to my channel. Okay. Alfred will try but to link it in the description. We're here below. now. We're here now. I'm stepping in now, this brand new 26. Yes. Well, first off, you want to just see the differences. Here was the most popular Key West 263, the one that really evolved. It's like Pokemon here, you know, it was there and then whoop, and it evolved and it got bigger, okay. better and badass. All right, so you can see the differences there. But so let's start at the bow okay. and we'll do a quick walkthrough working our way back. All right, um, so this was the predecessor right here, right? Yes, yes, well, it's still available. It's a smaller little brother, the 263. Okay, and this is why I want to show them this. Go ahead, you, you may continue. All right, what do we got going on? This is what we call, it could be your day bed, you know, hang out, sun tanning salon. This is very comfortable. Notice the pads are all molded in, very comfortable. Grab handle for security, speakers for entertainment, cup holders for beverages. It's the whole package. It could also be removed if you don't want the center uh, filler board, but it is here if you need it, okay? And don't forget there is storage underneath with friction hinges so they stay open, okay? Don't, it also has a windlass in the front. Look at these reclining seats. These are awesome. You know, you've seen a lot of boats that have that coffin box seating. Uh -huh. We're gonna give you both. I did like that feature when we walked this I did like that, and we did we did Look such a that. great video on the water, guys. This, just so you know, has an angle to it, and that's what some manufacturers miss. They make this back way too vertical, so it's not comfortable. This is better than a lazy boy. You could just put me up with a flat screen TV. I could sit here and watch a movie. That's how comfortable it is. And it's on both sides, right? Yep, and there's a cooler underneath. Wow, you guys are really are really maximizing space here at Key West, guys. Remember, it's a foam-filled boat, and we even gave you an in-floor fish box. Hold on, let's see it. Nice, it's pretty deep in yep. there as well. You can macerate pump out. It's it, a great thing. A lot of people are gonna go fishing, they need that. Wait, it, it looks like it has an indentation there for a bucket. Well, yeah, well, let's say you don't wanna use it for fish. Let's say you wanna put your cleaning supplies in there in a bucket, there's your location. I don't wanna go ahead and correct you when you don't show things on these Key West. That's okay, you told me to make it short. Okay. You, you said, Danny, I want it in five minutes. 128 you, gigabytes, guys. He's like, hey, Alf, Daniel, can you do it quick? I only got five minutes for you, so All I'm right. trying to do it quick. All right. Notice the bolsters going down the length of the boat. Very high, very thick. Grab handles, powder coated white. Fuel tank. Here's something not every manufacturer does for you. We have the fuel cap on both sides of the boat. So if you can only dock on one side, you don't have to worry about stretching the hose. So we put it on both sides. Okay, time out. I want to, I want to say something that I remember using when actually, because remember, we were going in the Port of Miami and there was a lot of wake yeah. in that area. And yeah. I, on the Miami show, my thought process was give me some chop. Yeah. So I was you looking. Wanted, you were like a Chinese guy in a China shop. Yes. Chop, chop, chop. Yeah, give me you some chop. chop. And chop, I, chop, and, chop. and you guys gave me some chop. Oh, yeah, and did. when I was with my gimbal, I was holding on to this and oh, I yeah. really appreciate it. Woo! Okay, so I just want to yeah. make sure that you're, oh, yeah. you're going to feel safe and, and the freeboard on this yeah. boat is pretty high. So if you got kids like you now, dad, you're, you're yeah. starting to lose your dad bod. Thanks. What know. happened? Well, yeah, I stopped eating five times a day. Okay. <laughs> that helps. All right, all right. What do we got? Go. All right, so we're going to go in here and take a look. It's finished on three sides, but still soft, so you can work on your electronics on the other side. You got a head, you got a sink, and some storage. Nice. Very nice console, very tall. Would you like me to test drive it for you? No. Make sure I can sit on no, it. No, no, it's, 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 it's okay. I, I, I see that you have a lot of space in there. Okay. Tell me a little bit about this windshield before we go further. Of course. Full windshield now goes all the way up to the hard top. Some people asked for it, so we wanted to deliver. On this boat, you're gonna get the full windshield. 
it is something that people want because maybe you're in some bad weather, you're not gonna get wet. You're gonna be kept out of the elements. What T-top option is this? This is the hard top option, standard. It comes with color changing lights. It's powder coated black, front and rear spreader lights. I mean, what more could you ask for? It's got the outriggers on it. Got speakers. There's a lot of coverage on, on this on this yeah, it's hard top. It's it's big. Absolutely. It's big, guys. And yep. I like the fact that you all your speakers are recessed in there. Yep. It's molded into the actual look at this helm. Top. It's got the bolster. You can sit or lean. Alright. Show them real quick. The 8616 Garments, Yamaha CO5, Fusion Apollo series. I believe that's 770. Uh, you have all the push buttons now and the labels are on the buttons okay i do like that yeah 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 a lot of people like that i like the faux teak up here with the richie black compass to match a little area to throw your phones we use seat keeper ride now standard if you haven't been T on it tell me about that because i noticed it i noticed it when we were on this boat it's the really incredible i mean I, honestly the only way to compare it to is like a magic carpet ride if you ever seen the movie Aladdin, just picture yourself on the boat, you put a button and you're, that's it. Set it, forget it. It's the best ride of your life. You think it's gonna give a lot of competition to people who have trim tabs? Absolutely. I think you're gonna see other brands, we won't say their names, but there's two other big ones. They're gonna be like, oh shit, all the manufacturers are using this product on their bigger boats. We're losing market share. We're gonna have to revolutionize. You know, we're gonna have to I, change. I'll tell you, I, that's I, good. I, competition I did good. notice, I did notice the difference on the yes. ride. I was this this boat exceeded my expectations well, that's right good. so and so that's I, that we didn't even have a, a drink in your hand no we, we weren't there, at the same there was a bunch of people on the boat that day too we had yamaha on the boat we had a bunch of people because yeah. we now those are three those 350s that we had really torque for days experience it what we really got to do is get you and your family out on the boat at the sandbar so you could really see what this boat's about you know take you out for a cruise maybe we go get a stop at a restaurant you guys just want you the know? 6 5 225 bikini body with a speedo over there at the sandbar in Miami. It's not gonna happen, you Daniel. You caught me, you caught me. It's not anyway, gonna happen, go. Electronic steering, battery switches are remote controlled, autopilot, push to start, Yamaha EX joystick, level four. There's your Seat Keeper ride. Built-in push to start, Yamaha EX, twin handle controls, wireless phone charger, scan strut. You gotta have that. The baby's there. All right, cup holders, cup holders, cup holders, cup holders, cup holders, cup holders. Did I say more cup holders? Okay. And then don't forget up here, we got a really nice VHF tucked away in your electronics box. You got storage here and even more storage here. I mean, talk about space, And I, I like that this is actually incorporated into the actual Hard mold. Top. Yes, and, and I like that. It's all got a gasket in it if you yeah. want to keep it close. I like that. You know, keep it nice and dry. Down here, you got your batteries, but you also have additional tackle box storage. A little cubby hole for your emergency throw bag. All right, let's 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 move it back. You got your subwoofer right here. It's a 10 inch subwoofer. That's a factory first. Coming on back. Fresh water here as well. Yep, that's your fresh water fill. Notice the, here your gunnels come lower, so it's more comfortable. You have this new ladder here. This is a dive door. We've added it now, it's on both sides of the boat. On this side, we're putting in, this is gonna be your sandbar anchor, designated spot for the secondary anchor. Who's, doing, like, who's I, doing that? I like when that. Have you seen that in the boat, huh? I like that. Who gave, him that who gave him that uh, suggestion? I don't know, we won't say. All right. So over here, you got a ladder. There's your dive ladder, okay? And then let's show them the rear mezzanine seat. So this is where you could sit if you're fishing or if you're just conversating, you want to have a conversation with the people sitting on this beautiful love seat. All right, let's show them here. There's a cooler. All right. Cooler Another underneath, one. full size, tackle box. Wow. Or you could put Look cheese, at the sandwiches. Space. You know, wow. You want. I love this. Yeah. Fishermen are going to love this. Absolutely. Family, family, family fishermen. Is that cool or what? Awesome. And this awesome. is removable for access. So okay. Access. So yeah, you can remove it. Say you just want to go with the boys and just yeah. fish and get blood all over, right. fish guts everywhere. You got a live well here, but I choose, I mean, maybe you want to use it for drinks. No, no, no. Fishing, fishing. Uh, we need some, some ballyhoo in here. 
we, we, why don't you put some ballyhoo and f put some water, maybe some pilchards, and we can show them what really happens when you're on these boats. That's right. You got rod holders back here, and you got Yamaha. These are the 300 XSBs. They're all built-in electronic steering. That's why you see the clean rig. The 350s, how much do they weigh compared to the new ones? Oh my gosh, it's almost the same weight. It's just a little bit more, maybe like 50 pounds, but it's not much. It's the lightest V6. 50, this, 50 pounds, if I lose 50 pounds right now, I'll look anorexic. Yeah, 6'5", 225 and ripped. Yeah, yeah. Imagine me at 175. Yeah, but this boat, you can pair it with twin 300s and it would be plenty of enough power. You know, the 350 is just going above and beyond for those people. That Give me the money. Have, Give me the money. What are we talking have. about, Daniel? Well, come on. Come on down to the Palm Beach International Give me the show. money. Let's deal. Let's right, deal. Let's come here. Deal. Come here. Let's deal. Right now, the way it's optioned out okay. is in the low 300s. In the low 300s. Yes, but if you come to the boat show, I'm going to make you a sweetheart deal. It might be a two in the front of that. Oh, uh, two. Yeah. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Okay. What other, what other manufacturers do you guys uh, sell? So at Tuppence. So at Tuppence Marine, we carry Pathfinder, Maverick, Hughes, Key West, Nortec, Albemarle Boats, and now G3, John Boats, Pontoons, and Bay. You want to see them? Go, go, let's on, go. Let's show you real quick. Hey, it's a Yamaha product. I feel like you just gave me this card so you can waste all the SD space on this. This is a long video, so I'm good. I'm good. Steve! Do you need more SD cards? No, let me see, let me see. I got see. more SD cards. Steve is not, you he's know still, Roger. yeah. Roger. What's up, Roger? Wait, Steve is still alive? Steve! Uh, so, say hi to the camera. What's going on, buddy? How are you? Good you, to see you here at you, the show. You're still alive with this guy around? No, barely, barely. <laughs> he, he scares me. Yeah. Guys, <laughs> if, if they have not seen the Solus video that when we were on yeah, the Nortec. You remember that day? He, what do you mean? I'm still wet. He flooded us. I'm still wet, guys. It's yeah. Still working for him. It's, yeah. Guys, that, that. I don't know if you know, Tuppence Marine has a huge ship uh, tackle store, clothing store. No, I didn't know that. Maverick. Are we going to have to sell Chicho hats at the Tuppence store? We should. Why not? Wait for it. Look at this. Hey, Look what I'm wearing right cocks? now. Look at this. You want to see my big white cocks? Diesel outboards. Cox Diesel, 300 horsepower V8. Oh man, I would love to do a sea trial on this. What's up? Make it happen. Yeah. What do you mean? I got this boat sitting uh, behind the marina. I, come on. Come Albemarle, on we'll guys. Okay, so we've done some walkthroughs at the shows Very of the Albemarles. Right here, baby. Oh, now we're talking. Hold on a second, because you know- Aluminum G3 boats, I can get you on the water for $6,000. Boat, motor, and trailer. $6,000. Okay, what do you how, how, um, how much power can you put me at? Well, I, I sold one, I put a 9.9 .9 on mm -hmm. this one right here, the 1436, and it ran great. 10 horsepower Yamaha. Two grand for this one here? Yeah, two grand. 2,000, so I can put, I might have to do a John Boat series. I've done, I've done a dinghy series. Guys, John Bow series. By the way, no wood. There's no wood in that. It's all aluminum. All right, so. I got pontoon boats. Suncatcher pontoons by G3. Okay. And. Baby. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I want to show this. this is, you know, I'm like a grandpa. Yeah, so no, I'm, I, I I've got. I'm eyeing that too for the family. It's awesome. It's awesome. Okay, what's this? Check out the Seafoam Blue Bay 17. This is a G3 Bay 17. G3 Bay, uh, okay. Under got a special deal, under $30,000, boat, motor, and trailer. Under 30, with, with a 70? 70 Yamaha. Yep. Are you five, serious? Five years warranty right now at the boat show. I'm gonna ask for a job over here at Informa. They might be, they might hook it up. Absolutely. We could put your logo on the side. Did, do they know that I did a video of the whole setup that Informa Just, did? If you didn't, you gotta go check out the boat show setup series. It oh, was phenomenal. It was crazy. I'm a little upset. Alfred didn't come and film me while I was bringing all these in. We were env environmentally friendly. We didn't burn any emissions. I, I coming into why? Because you're electric. I use an electric vehicle now. I towed these boats in. With a, what? A Ford Lightning. Oh. Oh, really? Yeah, I did. Hey, all we right. gotta save the planet. All right, all right, good. All right. What do you think? What do you think? So under 30K, under I like 30K. that. Well, I guess you gotta pay taxes, so. Uh, you just killed You honest. just killed the vibe, I gotta go. Let's, let's be honest. I just, yeah, but you, you, you live in the United it, States. It was so taxes. good, like, everything was great. You did such a good job. Thank you. Now Thank I'm you. leaving. Hey, don't forget the Nortex. You don't wanna, you don't wanna I talked to Tron personally 
at the okay. shows. Okay. And I show right. Tron. Well, come back later and say hi to Tron then, huh? How yeah. About it? All right, I will then. Hey, don't forget to bring back that SD card. Hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna buy it from you at okay. no more than ten percent. Two hundred dollars. Wow, dude. Guys, let's go. Wait for it. Wait for it. Thank you. <laughs> What's going on? Good. Good. We're starting the show here, guys. Hey. I gotta get going. Actually, I still have to go get my actual SD cards because they're all the way over there. All right. <clears throat> Just so you guys know, I'm gonna start this walkthrough right now. I am using this Black Tip H, okay? This is, what, this is the gear that I'm gonna use right now. We're gonna walk the entire show. We just talked to Daniel. We're gonna walk until the wheels fall off. That's how we're gonna do this. I'm wearing my Hook Big Eye sunglasses and I got a brand new collection of some of my hats. This will be April 1st, 2024 on my site, luxuryribtenders.com. We're not gonna stop. We're gonna try to see if we film until the wheels fall off. And the wheels being my energy. I don't know, let's go. All right, guys, welcome to the West Palm Beach. I'm sorry, the Palm Beach boat show. All right, and we're starting off on Avernia. We just did the video with Daniel from Tuppence Marine. And yeah. All right, guys. So absolutely massive show. We can go that way. We can go this way. Wow. The choices. We're going to start on the water. We're going to start on the water because the water, the water will be where we want to be. All right. So let's see what brings what happens today uh, might hide a little bit under this hoodie i know guys hey you gotta you gotta stay away from the sun all right jupiter in the house look at this new i believe this is a 26 that todd was talking about all right oh boy Let's see. All right, let's see what we got going on over here. Let's jump. Let's jump into Jupiter real quick and start this video and start seeing some boats. We got Everglades here, which eventually will come around, guys. We'll come around. But let's start off on uh, on Jupiter and see what's. Uh, oh wait, wait. Before we even get to Jupiter, let's check out these twin bees. Okay. Oof. Look at this cat, dude. They're all cats, but this one, oof, what is this? 400 GFX. Wow. Hey, I wonder if we can jump on. Somebody, somebody put footprints on it. Um, hey guys, I think, I think, uh, I want I want to step on it, but I have my shoes on because I don't want to take off my shoes. Oh my goodness, a 45 CV. Wait a second, where's Eddie? No, tranquila, guys, no, tranquila. Wow, I gotta talk to Eddie, guys. Maybe we could do a dedicated walkthrough on this boat. 45, I like, I like the colors on that boat, nice and clean. Less is more, I love that. Jupiter! What do we got? What do we got here, Jupiter? 450s, Yamahas. Look how pretty this photo is, guys. My, my, my. Dual row. I like this. Guys, and we've done multiple videos and multiple shows similar to this. I have a playlist called Boat Shows. Just go down that playlist. You'll see a lot of interesting content. Okay, so we're just running and gunning. When I say that, we're basically just gonna look at the boats, see what we like, and then we, do, we try to do dedicated videos after the fact. So we'll let the salespeople talk and walk them, and so stay tuned. If I put like a, a link or something like that, it's probably that. Nice looking boat. Now on the setup video that I did, I did a setup video for Informa, how they set up this entire show. Cool, cool, cool series. Um, I actually met Todd working out here, setting everything up. So he was here. And 
it's cool to see like the behind the scenes stuff right before all this stuff is here and i did lose my voice you know partying so whatever it is what it is i've been here a week guys i had to party sorry forgive me look at this 32 this this is my uh this is my this is my favorite right now right now this this 32 is is my favorite i really like this setup this is this is fire i love the upholstery with the wood it looks nice very elegant look at the jupiter tagging on everything wow wow this thing looks sweet uh oh Beautiful boats, guys. Beautiful, beautiful boats. This is the 34, uh, 340LS. Wow, I like this too. Very elegant, guys. I like this. Look at this console. I think this console's new. What do you guys think? Comment below. I want to know what you guys think. Oh boy, I know, I know what I thought. You hear that air conditioning? Oof. Jupiter knows how to party, guys. In AC, indoors or outdoors? That is great. Beautiful boats. All right, guys. They're swamped here. First day of the show. These are where your serious part is. There's Todd over there. Awesome, yeah. Working. You guys are bringing rain jackets to the store. We are. <laughs> you better sell them tomorrow. I know. Yeah. I love them. I, I really, really want this one. Guys. Crazy. Crazy. All right. So, I try to walk till the wheels fall off. But as my equipment gets older, it fails on me more. So, comment. Buy new equipment. Just, just put buy new equipment. I can show the comments to my wife. And she'll say, oh, fine. Spend $10,000 on a camera. So it's either that or this boat right here, babe. What do you want me to do? Because I'll, I'll, I'll choose this a hundred, a hundred times more. Oh, my goodness, guys. We're, we're, we're going to do a dedicated video for sure of this 450Z CV for sure. Um... <laughs> I haven't done a video of a CV this big. We did one in a 40, the new 40 with Eddie over there. Oh, look, he's over there. Oh, it's gonna happen. It's it's for sure gonna happen, guys. You just have to make a custom. All right. Um, actually, did have somebody who wanted that boat. That's, all right, so we're gonna have to pick our battles. Dude, this, this show is big. Guys, I was here when all these docks were made. And you'll see that video on my channel. It's pretty, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. Parker in the house. Now the question is, are people getting deals? Are people getting deals? Iconic Yacht Group. Look at this fountain, this thing is beautiful. Yeah, yeah. Parkers are very popular boats, especially in the Northeast. We do see some. We see some coming in and out of Black Point uh, Marina. Look at this. If this is not meant for fishing, I don't know what is, guys. Comment below. All right. Nautical Network. Guys, these guys are beasts on, on Instagram. Very expensive to lay down here. This will be short to pay your family and friends. On a beautiful day like today. Let's talk about the carbon you've used. Nautical Network, I'm just giving you guys some props. Thank you. It's going to hold off until after the third Black fan, oof, wait, 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 wow. 
Oh yeah. Oh dude, we got Pardo there. Forest. Where's Forrest? He's gonna attack me. I know it's gonna happen. Alfred. I, lo I love Forrest. He's he's such a fun guy. Very nice looking boat. Duro. And we saw these at uh, the Miami show. We can work on that front. I'll make it happen. All right, buddy. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah. Monterey to our right. Let's see what's got. Monterey. B10, 350s. Oh, Mr. Fruit. What's up, man? Look at that. Guys, it is it is scorching out here in Florida. If you're freezing, I'm sorry. Blackfin is uh, killing it over here in Palm Beach. Quirkin. Oh my guys, this is gonna be a long video. I got another battery, don't worry about it. I got a battery in my pocket. We got enough SD space and we're gonna make it. We're gonna see what we can do. So the wheels fall off. I swear, like I told you, the wheels will fall off. We're gonna see some boats over here. Oh man, this is elegant. 379 with the show discount. Oh man, we might have to come back and do a dedicated walkthrough on this. I like this. I like the pilot house option like that. Good for, for moments like this when you just want to get yourself in the AC and cool off, right? Breeze is one thing with shade, but AC is the winner, my friends. Oh, wait, hold on. Let's, let's, make, the, let's make the sea keeper people work. Hey, how does this thing work? I love doing this. How does it work? How does it work? Yeah. So it's a gyroscopic stabilizer. Yeah. So there's a, a uh, flywheel inside a sphere. Okay. Right, the sphere, the flywheel spinning 550 miles an hour, 9,700 RPMs. Nice. The sphere processes forward and aft, so it tilts back and forth, and it puts off a gyroscopic torque to the port and the starboard of the boat. Okay. Um, so it basically throws that weight, throws that torque. And this is it right here? This is it right here. This is the Sea Keeper 1. This is our smallest model. So I just it's stepped only 365 pounds. So I just stepped on it and I'm moving, I'm shaking and it's moving. Yep, you see how that sphere is processing? Is it trying to tell me I'm overweight or something or what? No, no. Walk from one side of the boat to the other. Hold on a second. Wait, wait, hold on. I'm filming because I don't want them to see that. Can you walk on it so we can see how it works? So is it on right now or it's off? So right now the sphere is unlocked, which means it's processing. If I would lock the sphere, okay. the boat would start rocking. So okay. Right now with the simple touch of a button, now the sphere is locked in place. So now you can rock the boat. Only one person is rocking the boat though, guys. There's, there's one guy rocking the boat, a sea keeper. You're killing us. Yeah, so you see how the, the sphere is locked? It's not moving? I see that. So now I'll turn back on. Um, so yeah, as soon as it kicks in, that sphere starts processing and that throws off that port. I know. I wish I had somebody. Hey, you're a strong guy. You want to hold? There? Yeah, yeah, jump on there. Yeah, yeah. Come on. Let's show. I need to show. The... Yeah, that's what I wanted. All right. Hey, you don't work here, so let's, let's try to tip it. Seriously. Let's try to tip it. Okay, it's on or off right now? Okay. Wait, yeah. Uh, we're rocking it. We're rocking it. He's working it. Oh, there's no rocking it anymore. <laughs> hey, are you pulling? Are you really pulling? No, we're on one, yeah. You're, you're not a paid actor, are you? <laughs> All right. Where can they go to get some sea keepers? Okay. Uh, they come on sports. And then we have a dealer network. So we can install these boats. We have 
you know, 100 dealers on the East Coast and all throughout the U.S. with each uh, I've seen you guys do this multiple times. I just wanted to see it again because every year it's new people that watch. So thank you guys. See, keeper in the house. Hey, what's your name? Brandon. Thank you so much, guys. Um, and that's that's why we do what we do. You guys just saw something. Oh, sax. Where you been all my life? Oh my goodness. And it's a foam. It's a foam collar. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, this is pretty. With teak? Oh my goodness. All right, we're gonna have to figure out a dedicated walkthrough here for sure. Pay for it. Hello. Hi, how's it going? Good. I love your boat. Oh, thank you. Hey, we're gonna do a walkthrough for sure on this. 100%. I'm doing the full walkthrough now. Gonna, we'll do a walkthrough later. Guys, crazy. Oh man, we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to do, wow. How have you been? I'm, I'm a lot better now. Good. I'm at Saks. Yeah. All right, so listen, I'm doing the whole full walkthrough of the show. Yeah. I'm gonna come back, we're gonna do a dedicated video. I wanna, I wanna show this in this boat because this is badass. And I saw a bunch of these in Germany. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, when I was at the Dusseldorf show. Yeah. And I'm going to Cannes, so see me over there. Okay. Same exact boat, different colors. These two are twins. Other than other than the engine package, obviously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll tell you, I, I'm I like. When I first started talking to you, I was talking to you about the Striders because I needed some tubes repaired. Yes. That was probably five, six years ago. So, so now you guys don't have collars. You don't have air air collars. We still, we still have the Strider line. Oh, okay, but uh, this is foam filled now, right? That's these foam. Are foam filled. Yeah. And I just had a guy that's in. Um, call me, uh, call me, call me. He's in uh, Saint Martin. Oh. He said he could ship the boat. Okay, if he can ship it over here, we'll do it. But what if what if he could put it inside? It was air conditioned. Would you go and? No, uh, no. We've been to Saint Martin. <laughs> Maybe if we hadn't gone. <laughs> All right. Hey, good to see. You. I'll see you in a bit. Yeah, guys. Um, we restore inflatable tubes down here in Hialeah. All right. Amp 37. XPR. Oh my goodness. American Marine performance, and we saw these guys in Miami. Unreal, beautiful guys. What do you guys think? Hey, listen, smash a like, smash a like for AMP. And this is the one we we walked the uh, 333 SC. I still can both scars. Conk 41. Oof. I like this. With an 11 8 beam. Let's see what's going on here with the conk. Very elegant boat. I like this. 725 gallons of fuel. So, so here's the thing, right? So I'll give you a couple trends. A lot of people want more, more fuel um, on their boats because they want to be able to go to the islands and back without worrying about fuel over there. So that's one of the things that people are really wanting, especially with the, with these new outboards that might be uh, really fast, but they're also sucking up more gas. So, we ten four hundreds on this guy. This is these these boats are nice. I like this. Very very nice. Very nice sports. Mystic. Oh, Mystic, where you been all my life? We got Mystic. We got a front runner to its left too, which is a beauty. You don't miss the car, they don't play. Uh oh. Hold on a second. Alright, um, I'm trying to see if I can finish this video without taking calls. So we're gonna just go with it. Gonna, wait for it! 
All right, guys. Look at this mystic. Oh, oh, oh. Let me tell you, mystic always hits it out of the park, guys. Another one that I, I'm mean, gonna see, guys. I'm gonna try to do everything in my power to do a dedicated walkthrough on all these boats, right? Like you got some over here also. What is this? Oh, this is an Anveda. This is one of the first rib boats that I've done a video on on YouTube. This is Ramp 10, yeah. Ramp 11 is the next one. And that should be over there. Look at this. 11. Amazing boat, guys. Super fast. Um, and the back side right here, it's all carbon. And then in the front, it's all full. The boat itself is, is, is fully carbon. How many years have you been in the US? Look, somebody's just asking yeah, them if they... Doctor. Actually, Anveda was the very first ones. Uh, rib boats, the big boys, to, to be here. And I know that because I was the first one to film them. Um, obviously, you have other ones too, but... Wow, this mystic is crazy. Crazy, dude. Crazy. What do you guys think about this? Candela, we did a video, a sea trial on this boat. Electric, all electric, guys. I don't know if this is, is all, yeah, this one's 100%. It's a foil, right? And if you've never written a boat that foils and it's out of the water, it's, it's, it's a weird feeling. You literally feel like you're floating, guys. Super cool, 100% electric. You barely hear anything. If you're just used to com combustion engines, you're gonna freak out. You're gonna be like, what the hell is this? It blows your mind, it really, it's something different. You know what's different? This right here, Formula. Wow, Formula's got those aggressive lines. Like, look at me, I'm here, wow. Windshield that uh, opens and closes. What is this, a door? Does this close into itself? Oh, is that an air door? Well, I gotta find out a little bit more on this formula. Dude, this is nice. Yeah, guys, and regrettably, there's gonna be a lot of weather this show. So we're all trying to take advantage of the weather, right? The window. Uh, Slip 1120, are you Christian? Christian, yeah. Christian, did you order it? She did that whole thing or whatever. I don't know if, if Christian doesn't want that food, I'll, I'll, I'll be like, hey, I'm Christian. Hey, I'm Christian. Let me know what I need to pay. Bring it over here. Seriously. If Christian's not found, I'll, get, I'll buy whatever he didn't buy. I'll, I'll give you 20% more. Is that your guys' order? I'll, I'll give you 20% more, bro. 20% more. Hey. All right, guys. Big shout out to Tipper and his crew. Tipper got me uh, some Jimmy John's the other day when we were working here at the Informa Setup Show. You see, I just wanted that kid to get out of here, put a little bit of pressure, you know, on those folks. Give me, give me, he wants it, I want it now. It's reverse psychology, guys, you know how it is, you know how it is. I tell my dog, go inside your kennel, he's like, no. I say, go outside, then he's like, straight into his kennel. Isn't, isn't the world crazy like that? How we looking, how we looking? We're good? Steve, what ramp are you on? Are you <laughs> These guys will stop. Even during the show, you're working. <laughs> guys. Techno Hall. Oh, wait a second. Are there sea trials happening? There might be, guys. Hmm, I gotta figure that out. All right, good rib boats, guys. Good rib boats. You see how the guys are just working throughout the show while the show is happening? getting calls so that it doesn't just stop when the actual show just is happening right formula is knocking it out of the park all right look at this look at this beast 
Oh man, guys. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna have enough time to do everything I want to do. Wow, good to see a lot of rib boats out here. Oh my goodness! What? What are you? What else am I gonna look at? It's funny because we walk by here and I'm like, I bet you Alfred's out here like checking these things out. Okay, so time out. They don't know that I already filmed you on a new well craft. <laughs> and I'm going to, you know what? I'm going to take a break. You I'm going to. You said Meg, Meg and TJ. Meg and TJ are friends. Hi. Hi. We bought their old boat. Yeah. Oh, really? Yes, yeah, so we did. The other well craft. So, we so now you guys got to go next to them. And, and tweeting. They, yeah, we're going to be tweeting. Okay. <laughs> So guys, look, we're gonna take a break, but I'm gonna cut to their video because I actually did a video with them on their Wellcraft and I want you guys to see it. And I'm gonna do a video with them. Uh, we're gonna keep that it's on the hush Collab now. series. Wait for it, collab series. Ah! <laughs> Breaking news, breaking news, guys. Breaking news. Breaking news. Wellcraft, hold on a second. Wait, is this working? Is this working? Wait a second. This is not, this is a four winds, but I'm turning around. Oh my goodness, guys. We got a Wellcraft. Hold on a second. Wait, wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a second. I wonder if the owner of this boat will let me step on there without shoes or with shoes. Ah, uh, yeah, yes. Let's go. Boom, Boom guys. We're on a brand new boat that was just bought by the Sea Junkies. Woo! All right. Oh, wait a yeah. Okay, wait. And you have a Chicho hat on the yeah. side. There you oh, go, guys. Yeah. Are you kidding me? The best. The one and only. The one and only. Uh, guys, and I, you know what? That's exactly how I carry that. that that hat has it, hit salt water. I see the you salt. See it. Oh, I yeah. see the salt. Okay. Did you ever find the drone that you guys lost? No. no. We bought a new one. We, we bought a new one. one. Okay. Insurance, folks. Insurance. Okay, and you didn't just I think you're pretty familiar uh, buy a new drone. No, no, we ordered the no, replacement. No, but you bought something bigger today. Oh, oh yeah. What's that? Oh, the, uh, so we're breaking news on the chit show. Oh, yeah. See, Junkies just bought this boat, first, guys. First here, okay? We're first here. We're not even telling anybody. All right, all just right. Hold on. Didn't you guys just have a Janot? Yes, we just bought one literally seven months ago. Seven months ago. Not shading or anything like that. You just didn't like the style. The, the style. style. You wanted fishing again because you had this guy. Fishing. We had this guy. Yeah. This one. Yeah. And then you yeah. said, we're going bigger. Yeah. Go big or go home. Right? Let's go. Hey, uh, wait, I'm, my collab series, you guys said, let's go do a collaboration. Oh, yeah. So we're going to do it on this boat. We're gonna oh, do let's boat. go. This is the next boat that we are going to be filming Okay, on. okay, hold on a second. So tell me what boat this is because you just bought it. Yeah. Yeah. What what model boat is this? It's, this is a 262. It's a, it's a 2023 Warcraft 262 uh, Fisherman. Okay. Now we got twin Merc 200 white, which are beauts. Yeah. Ripping out a hollow over, what do you think? Oh, Wait for it. Right. Wait that's for it. 21 degree dead rise on this boat. We're going to cut yeah. through waves like butter. Oh my yeah. goodness. Hey, it's we all souped up. RGBs on the inside already. All the equipment's in. We've got a Garmin 8612 XSV. I mean, it's like. Did, did you guys up. know that this boat was here? Yes. yes. You did know. Yes. So we you have a relationship with Intermarine. Because okay. we bought all our boats from them. This is, okay. a, this is the third boat that we buy from, from these people. Oh, okay. Yeah. So now you got fishing and look at this. You have everything here. Everything. Like if you want to just shade out over here up front, let's keep let's see let's, let's see what's going on. It's actually a really good mix of a fishing boat meets like sandbar boat. You know what I mean? So when you want to take party in the front, fishing in the back. Even though you got rod holders everywhere, you know? Okay, so when you're doing the Sea Junkies, because we're gonna, you guys got a YouTube channel. It's called Sea Junkies. Sea Junkies Miami. Sea Junkies Miami, yeah. guys. And I'm gonna do a video with you guys. Have you figured? I think we should. You know what we should do? We should go on this and explore all these little islands that nobody knows about. We would love to do that. Yeah. That's actually that, our specialty. That'll yeah. that'll be cool, and we'll we'll show like your best spots. Oh, let's so do it. so all of us sailors could go the following day and oh, ruin yeah, your that's spot. Right. Yes, let's we'll go. Have, we'll have to stand at the shore and start charging cover. <laughs> <laughs> All right, hold on. So what are the things you, you're going to really like about this? I see that there's there's a big door here. What's going yeah, on here? It's a full head, full bathroom, electric. 
A lot of storage, jail audio, everything, the amps in the back. Um, it's electric, which is, you know, clean. Okay. But it's twice the size of So you guys came first day, show just opened. I'm pulling the trigger right now, this is mine. Get off my lawn. No, oh, yeah. we were stalking this boat. Get off my lawn. Yes. Complete stalkers. Okay, time out, hold on a second. We got just... here before it even opened. Okay, <laughs> me too. Number one. <laughs> I've been here all week. I know. I've been doing a setup video, guys. You have to know if you watch the channel. Okay, so did you get a deal? Oh, we had a deal, man. Wait a second. Hold on a second. Oh, let's, let's whisper. It's sick. Let's whisper. Hold on a second. This is what we want to hear. Yeah. As boaters. Yeah. Did we get a deal? We got a total of about sixty-eight thousand dollars off this boat. Sixty-eight thousand dollars off. Sixty-eight thousand dollars off the boat. I could buy me a truck with that. My yeah. What's up? That's big money. That's big money. You guys want to buy me a truck? You That's got like, 68,000 <laughs> more. What? I want a new one. Let's go. No. Okay. Yep. So what are some of the other things that you really liked or missed about your old older world craft and now this one that you're going to really think you're going to enjoy? The finishes are amazing. Oh, yes. Yes. Oh, yes. Guess what? what? Oh, come here, guy. Come here. Oh, yeah. It's confirmed. Is it theirs? It's theirs, it's confirmed. It's theirs. It's theirs. It's ours. Oh, we broke the news. All right. Oh, yeah. So we're going to put it? Yeah, we're going to go put it on. Go, 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 guys. Woo! It's the best feeling. No, and, and we have it all Wait, filmed. Put it, not on the boat, hold on. Put it on the... No, no, right here. Oh, oh, oh right there. even better. Get off my lawn. Ooh, there it is. Better. Okay. The bonagi? Right there. Or down here. Wherever. Yeah, up on top, so they see it real good. Oh, <laughs> the dagger yeah. in the corazon. There it is. Gone. Okay. Gone. So introduce yourselves to me because they might not know your names, right? Because Sea Junkies, is, everybody's going to be like, hey, what's up, Junkie? You know? Yeah. So introduce yourself so, for they, so, them, so they can know. Okay. My name is Marius Aralegui. I'm born and raised in Miami, Cuban Brit. You can hear the accent. Lourdes, yeah. Lourdes Guerra. Uh, born in Cuba. <laughs> raised in Cuba. And... And a World Cup owner. Yeah. Let's go. Congrats. Living the dream. RC junkies. Okay, okay, wait. What I, what I want to go back to the question is, what do you think you're going to like about this boat now, knowing that you had the other one? What what, do you, what are some of the things that you think you're going to enjoy out of this the one? The feeling of, of driving a boat outside and having that wind in the ocean right there is uncomparable to anything. Once I was inside a cabin driving, I felt like I was driving a car. Mm, so you need to Except feel the water, need, the I air. Outside. Yeah. So So... It's a big, it's a completely different experience. And we didn't know until we actually had the boat. And so you use another term earlier that we will say on camera, <laughs> which was pretty funny, but yeah. ultimately you're like, yeah. We're fishing chicks. Yeah, right? we're, 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 we're yeah. fishing chicks. We like to be out and about and that's yeah. awesome. Yeah, or, or like a, like a, you know, fishing biochas. Biach. <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys, look, she, they, they weren't, they got it. They got the discount. I'll tell you Look what. So you guys been working with Intermarine for a minute. You've um, bought three boats from them. Yeah, yeah. This is our third boat that we bought from them. We've been working them with them since like 2019. Nice. Yeah. Well, and they're amazing. They're yeah. really great. No, the, the Especially service. when it comes to your warranty stuff. Yeah. You know, sometimes boats need a little warranty here, uh, some some little scratch or something. They are amazing. And for people like us that live on the water, that have our boat literally right behind our place, whenever yeah. we need anything done on the boat, warranty wise or anything, we literally just roll up on the boat. Yeah. Drop the keys off uber home and then come back and do the same thing again yeah all right all right guys well listen up congratulations we broke news here Yay. and we showed a 262 fisherman 2023 you know you know if they can't get this price people are gonna get mad yeah they will yeah wait, use this wait for it don't tell anybody <laughs> <laughs>
This is a work of art. This is this is a work of art. I don't even want to step on this. Wow. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Ooh. What do you guys think, guys? Let me see here. Wow, this thing is beautiful. Wow. Beautiful boats. All right, Phenom. We've done some videos over there in uh, Annapolis of Phenom. Nice looking boats, guys. The Antonio Yachts. Wow. Fratelli again. Raballo 126 we got this one for 67949 guys let's see what we get for 67949 all right R206 Cayman we see we see these a lot when I filmed them, my series on uh, the boat ramp called the Chicho I know some of you guys haven't even fallen into the Chicho trap yet but it's me and I boat ramp it's Pretty interesting. Three sixty. Yeah, it's gonna pick up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the two day pass. Well, you know, Sunday you might get some better weather. Yeah, everybody's worried about the weather, guys. Panama City, we're just out. Panama. From Panama City, we're just like all up in the cheese, aren't we? Panama City's Hunt's Oyster Bar, guys. Go over there. Oh, you ain't gonna eat oysters like you eat over there. They're mulches oyster. They're literally, they're mulches oysters. Diesels, diesels in the house. Hammer cat 35. Wow, let me see this. You guys doing sea trials on these guys? Uh, we're doing a sea trial weekend next weekend in Fort Lauderdale, but we're not taking, we're not allowed to take a boat of the dog. No, I like this boat, man. I haven't seen this one. You guys had this in Miami? Yeah, we had it in Miami. We've had it in, uh, for the past five years. Selected for one of our owners, uh, Justin uh, Lambeth. He, I think he uses your uh, fishing gear. I'm a big supporter of uh, Josh and Jake and the whole Black Tip team. Okay. I'm, my uh, name is Alfred Montan. I, I do the chit show. Oh, okay. So I do the boat yes. ramp stuff and stuff oh, like okay. that. But we I do videos of the, the entire Black show. Tip, uh, yeah, Black I'm supporting them. Yeah, cool. So, yeah, man, I'm, I'm liking the boat. It looks where, nice. Where are you based? Um, Miami. I'm in Miami. Yeah, man. We'll come over next weekend. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We're running. Uh, we're gonna do a demo weekend. And, uh, yeah. I'll come on. Bring my camera gear. Yeah. Let me uh, give you my card. Do you have a card or something? No, I don't have one now. But I, yeah. I'll, I'll get in contact yeah, with we'll you. Yeah. Follow. Just uh, if you ping me on Instagram. Uh, Alfred. Uh, yeah. We'll do a boat ride. Yeah. We'll put it on my on my stuff. Hey. Nice, nice to meet you. What was your name again? Peter. Peter. Yeah. All right. Alfred. Alfred. Nice Alfred Montaner. Take care. I like the I like the thing. How's the diesels working out for you guys? Pushing it. Yeah. Good. It's very efficient. We were running uh, up to the boat show yesterday for Fort Lauderdale, 35, 38, and we're running 1 6, 1 7. Nice. The gallon, so yeah. Big. Workhorse. Yeah. Workhorse. I, this is going to be a tender for a lot of yachts. Yes, that's what we're working on. Yeah, guys, that's why they're putting these diesels on there. They're putting tenders. Oh my goodness. Maybe a 32 with a hard Is that Express? I didn't know Midnight Express was at Palm Beach. Really? Midnight Express in the Palm Beach boat show. Oh my goodness. 
Guys, here's the thing. Palm Beach is going to eat everybody. I believe. I believe. It's just what I believe. I think it's going to take over Miami. I think it's going to take over Flips. And uh, there's more room to grow here. I think. But, hey, who am I? I'm just a guy with a camera, all right? Oh, my goodness. Look at this thing. Is this a Ranger Tug? Yes, it is. I think I probably built like three or four of these docks. Uh, no, no joke. I think, I think I was here. Two forty nine factory direct. Three ninety four. 29 Command Bridge. And we've done a couple of walkthroughs at the shows of these boats. All right, there's people on there now. Let's go ahead and see what's going on over here, guys. Apparently, somebody wants to get uh, on their mountain bike while they're on there. That's pretty wild, dude. I like that. All right, so we're, we're knocking out this half of the show and we're going to still have to knock out the other half. So remember, this is a huge show, guys. Huge. Beneteau. Uh oh, I've been spotted. Oh, no. There's no hiding. Go scan medical venture. Tell him Alfred told me to just call. Hey, Miami is that away. Miami's <laughs> Miami's that away. Fort Lauderdale's that away. Midnight Express. Let's go, Palm Beach. Hey, I'm telling you. Have you seen the size of this show? I haven't yet. You haven't? No. Girl, you better, you better make sure you got good shoes. What's going on? What's happening? Well, we're going to go on another sea trial. I'm ready. You ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Make it. Make it happen. <laughs> Leslie. How are you? Hey, even if you're not married yet, you got to tell everybody, yeah. Not yet. I am. I'm not. You always got to lie. I'm taken. I'm taken. She's taken by this boat, guys. Any poker runs coming up? Tampa? Yep. And then our owners run in Maine. But that's always fun. Wow, it seems like we were just in Miami uh, like, like 12 days ago. Yeah. No, li listen, listen. I did a video of how they set this whole place up. Mm -hmm. It's incredible. I, this is the first time for me. It's the first I've time here? Been here before, yeah. Okay, look. I'll tell you, you're right next to a brand new dock, a brand new bar, mm -hmm. which is the furthest bar. This is a great spot. This is a great spot. What boat is this here? So this is a 43 Solstice. A Solstice. And I'm a big fan of Solstice. Um, there's no Ferrari or Lamborghini here. No. I guess I'm going to have to leave, guys. No, you guys spoiled me last show. I mean, I come to Palm Beach. There's no Ferrari. We have it in the parking garage. Tell Eric I'm disappointed. But I'm happy to see you here. Guys, Midnight Express. Leslie, hey, go send her a message on... Uh, on Instagram and let her know. Hey, why don't you just put another one? If it fit, you would, right? <laughs> Guys, Leslie from Midnight Express. Uh-oh. Wait for it. Mo from Plantation, Boat Mark. What's up, bro? How are you? Hey, I'm doing my whole full walkthrough video. Palm Beach is lit. Aprovecha today because tomorrow it's raining. Yeah? Yeah, it's going to rain tomorrow. I don't see it's going to be sunny, sunny, um, sunny skies tomorrow. You're bringing the sunshine, baby. Let's go. What do we got over here? Deep. Negative vibes. You step hey, it's not, it's not negative vibes. It's, 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 it's the weather woman. 
Bueno, the weather woman, they're always wrong anyways. Yeah, Let's yeah. go. Sunny vibes. All right, sunny vibes. What do we got here, Mo? This is right here. We got a Nardo Gray. Deep impact, 399. Wow, this thing is sweet. 450Rs. You didn't even have to, you didn't even have to put the music on because you got live yeah. music happening right here at the this bar. This is a spot that we got that came in clutch. Wait, right next to the bar. What, you didn't, you just came first time here? First Pumbies, time here, yeah, first time And you get this spot? Yeah. Don't lose it. Yeah. Don't lose it. Trust me. Uh, trust me. Next year, we're going to put the big 499 over there. Don't lose this spot. Oh my goodness. Hey. The bar is right there. The we did a video. Party. Yeah, where? <laughs> yeah. The Deep Impact Party. <laughs> All right. Where can they go to get more information on Deep Impact? DeepImpactBoats.com. Or you could call us on a plantation boat. Or you could follow me on Instagram or however you like. 786 255 1067. You'd like more information on the boats that we got available. We could build you one brand new custom or check out the ones we got available. I like it. I like it, guys. And I saw you guys in Miami with Fresco. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Badass boats. Yeah, we're going to do something this summer with him and um, maybe you want to join us and um, with Plantation we're going to go to the Sandbar Ile Moral we're going to do a, like a big um, custom appreciation day and he's got some big floats and stuff all right man so let me know with Valentina right here the marketing girl you gotta get to know her okay Valentina but you can't turn away your face from the camera <laughs> so, okay this is the one with the master plan right here okay so so there's going to be a party Okay, but you just can't say it's an event, okay? It's a party. You can't say. Yes. It's a Miami style party. We're bringing it to the kids. We're just gonna hang out. We're gonna hang out. Right? We're just gonna hang out. We're just gonna hang out. Cause then too many people come. They're like, do you have a permit to hang out? It's not an event. It's a hangout. Hey, let's go, guys. Hey, now we're at. The bar. All right, I gotta go. To, I gotta go to the other side. All right, this is the furthest point. I'm gonna get over there. I'm out of here. Boom. All right. So, oh no. Yes, yes. We have to go that way, guys. We do because you know why? Because I know what's back there. I know what's back there, guys. I know what's back there. I need. I need a ride. I think I might be able to bum a ride soon. Hold on. Wait. Wait, guys. Wait for it. I've been working hard. Can I go? Can I jump on? Real quick, I gotta go to that side. Hold on, let me get a ride over here. Wait, 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 wait. Go, 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 go. Go, I'm trying to go to the end. Hey, you guys are killing it, huh? Still a lot of work going on? Man, you're buttoning everything up. Buttoning everything up. Wait for it, I love this. Look how everything is, guys. Hey, the videos have been awesome, dude. Man, that's awesome. Yeah, dude, it's, I it's, it's I haven't watched this yet. I mean, how are you gonna watch it? You've been working nonstop. Hey, listen. And if, if you get home, I bet you want to go to sleep because that's what I've been doing. Bro, I shower, eat, and go to sleep. That's the first thing I do. Yeah, you know, you know, only because I've been here all week with you guys, I know that there's more boats back here. And I was like, I, I, can't, I can't fail the people and not show them these boats. That's a fact. That's Bro, a fact. this show is huge. What they want. Yes. So, so what, what, are, what are the little things? Like get extension cords here and there. That's what you guys are doing now? Yeah, pretty much. Buttoning everything up. Uh, finishing last minute things. Nothing too crazy. Everything yeah. for the most part is already run. We're just, anything that was just tripping. Yeah. Nothing, nothing too crazy. Yeah, that's awesome, dude. I've never seen the show this far along. And to be able to show this is awesome. And to show you guys do your work. This is the boat I had to get to. Hey, thank you. You uh, left or right? No, right here. This one's it, right here too. Thank you so much. Hey, bet that up. Hey, give him your name. My name is Ryan. Ryan. Now, now this is the regular videos that I normally film. Normally, I don't film what you were. Hey, there we go. There you go, guys. I did the informal video with them, guys. Rafnar. Okay. So, I've never seen this boat out of the water. I never seen them out of the water. Big, big shout out to those guys in Informa. I have done a walk through inside the water of this boat, but this boat per per performs awesome, dude. Incredible, incredible boats. Hyperlon tubes. Yes, yes, yes. I wanted to see this. All right, let's go over here. We got some boats to see over here. We, we want to give love to everybody, guys. It's a huge show. 
dispute, so we'll, we'll try to bump another ride on the way back. What's up, guys? How you guys doing? How you doing? How you doing? Oh, man, I'm showing this monster. I don't know if I step on board, I can show you the boat. 600s. I'm not going to step in, I'm just going to show it from there. Yeah, guys, I got my shoes on. And I'm running and gunning, but listen, what I really want to do is do a uh, sea trial on this guy. They've hammered this thing through Hallover. And it's just, it's a different riding boat. The way that they designed it, really, really different. Look at this. I have non-skid on the tubes, like that. Wow. Mean, mean boat. I told you guys, grab a drink. This, these are some long videos. You didn't make it to Palm Beach. You're going to want to be here next year, for sure. There's multiple entrances at the shows. Oh yeah. Looking good guys. Looking good. Alright, we got blue cat up ahead. It's not a blue cat, it's a red cat, but it's really a blue cat. You know what I'm saying? You, you guys don't get it. It's, it's really a blue cat that likes to take care, but it's really red. Yes. Um, I'll tell you right now, those guys from Blue Cat don't play. Less than the team. Oof. So we did a video on the 30 Blue Cat, and this is the smaller one. I'm really liking the smaller one. I saw this company um, in Dubai when I filmed in Dubai. And... A lot of people were around their booth and I was like, what boat, what boat manufacturer is this? Why are they attracting so much attention? And everybody was just really excited about the Blue Cat. And they were on the bigger one, the 30. And I saw this one and I was like, wow, we should bring that to the States. A small little catamaran capable of rough water, nice, stable, beamy. So yeah. Uh, big fan. Fun, fun boat, guys. Good riding boat, too. Step haul. There it is. They got it. Four sixty four ninety nine. Now you can put something more on it. You can go. What's up, guys? Como están? Hey, what are you guys hanging out? Hanging out. What are you showing? Are you here showing, exhibiting anything or no? Yeah. We're just enjoying oh, yeah. the show. Okay. Yeah. Oye, la comida, yeah. La comida Let's go. Let's go. Dale, vámonos. I just started, baby. Chicho is starting. Um, all right. So, so, so I want you guys to notice something. When, when I was doing the video of the setup, Danny and his team was concessions. Right now, it's all personalized. Right now, you guys know who's behind what. And they have food trucks right back here so you can feel comfortable and get drinks and food even at the furthest point but this might not even be the furthest point this might be the first part of the show for you because that's an entrance over there so there's four entrances to the uh, to the palm beach boat show all right well listen up i think i'm going to take advantage and I'm going to go get myself something to drink and something to eat, and we're going to continue on uh, those boats. Let's go. Calcutta. Oh, I'm going to get off right here. All right. Thank you, thank you. Hey, you're the best. Wait. Owners of the commodity. You've seen the Chicho show? You know who this guy on the side of my head is? Who's that? Crocodile. That's Fred the Croc. Listen, whenever my wife tells me I can't go to the boat show, uh -huh. 
Hold on a second. Wait, are, they, are you Come here. recording? Yeah, look. See that camera there? If you stand back a little bit right here. Yeah, you're going to be on YouTube now. Because I know the people at Calcutta, and we did a video with them recently. But this is Fred the Crocodile. And he's my friend. I'm, my voice is a little off. I've been screaming all weekend. All week. So you guys are fans of the channel. Oh yeah. Well, we watched when you put the uh, the uh, intrepid up there. Yes. Her Show us some watched, chop. Give me some chop. All right. There you go. Listen. 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 All right. Come here. Come here. Come here. I know. I know. You just want your because I. You know what it is. I was like, who are you? Yes, I'm the owner. Blah blah blah. Give me some chop. All right, guys. All right. So okay. So I did a video with him recently. Uh huh. But I always like to introduce the owner or the founder and all that stuff. And then the, the area, the area that was least, least memorable, he was in. And then he gets in the video, he sees the video, all of a sudden he goes, yeah, I'm the owner. And he says his name. And then I'm on this boat hauling ass going, this, this is amazing. Give me some chop. And he just shows. It's awesome though. Hey, awesome boats. So it just shows me saying, I'm the owner. Like, no. I'm trying to be big time. Yeah. No, no, no. I didn't mean it that way. Don't. I hear you. I was. It's a bad snap. Hey, well, listen. Let's take a picture together. Get, get, get one of the. You guys, let's take a, a selfie, all of us. Come on, right here. Come on, go. We got, we got a cow cut in the background. That's right. That's where we have this memory. Do it right there. Let's do the chit show, baby. Selfie mode. There you go, Bree. You got it? Hey, I, I, I just got his password if you need it. Let me know. I got it. Oh, you got it already. Yes, girl. You know. Hey, you know. I you don't got the password for this go, Nah, get in, get in the front. All right, just in case. 74411. There it is. Chit show, baby. Okay, go video, video. Okay, wait, I'm gonna say wait for it. And I'm zooming on that guy right there, the owner. This the owner, I got it. <laughs> Guys, I'm out of here. All right. And we continue, guys. It doesn't stop. My friends. Right, hey, I would like this person. I got you, I got you. Oh, oh, I can't post, I can't post you. I can't post you. But, but this is the man doing everything in behind the scenes. It's, it's him. <laughs> Guys, that's Gilbert. Gilbert, the guy for it. I love you, bro. Don't, don't film me. But I've showed his straw hat. So you want to make that thing work? Let's go. Hey, where's that little thing that followed me around one year? Come on, man. I need it this year. All right, you have one here that you can borrow? Thank you. Let's go. Hey, I'll be back later. Sir. What was the name of the company? Southern Golf Cars. Awesome, bro. This is why I have no voice. I've been screaming all week. Oof. Contender. Wow. Oh, yeah. Guys, I told you guys, I promise you guys, until the wheels fall off. I'm, I'm feeling surprisingly good. I'm not even hydrated. What do we got here off of the water? Cobia. I like Cobias. Cobias are good boats. All right. What's up, fellas? Are you with Black of Age? I'm, I'm not with them. I'm with the Chicho, but okay. I know, I know them. They're here. Are they? Yeah, they're here. Where are they? Three, three oh seven. Where seven. Whereabouts is that? Okay, Avernia. Okay. The tent over here. Okay. Right here. On the left side. Okay. Josh is there too. Oh really? really? Josh and Jake. I saw Josh earlier. I was talking to him earlier. That's awesome. Oh, man. Go, go check them out. You'll see them there. Hey, tell them the Chicho sent you. I will. I will, bro. All right, yeah, guys. <clears throat> Black Tip H. I'm always messing with them at the end of the show, right? 
and uh, it's Jake, Chris, and Josh. Josh is actually here um, at the show, and, and Josh, Josh, Josh has beat a fight of a lifetime with cancer. And if you guys have been watching my channel recently, I was at Cayocho, and I talked to a friend of mine named Ernie from the Kiwanis Club, and he just beat cancer. So we just got to keep on beating it, guys. And hopefully, there's a cure. And wow, what is going on with this Bahamas? 41 GT. Oh boy. My friends. Oh my my. I, I hope these guys made the right turn. Yeah, I think they did. They'll find them. I gave them the number 307. I think that's what it was. Guys, I want to see if I do a dedicated walkthrough on this one here. I'm liking this boat. Oh. Monster, to say the least. Those boats look really pretty in the water. Uh-oh, we're getting back to Tuppence. I think we've gone full circle. Okay, so... I'm, I'm liking the fact that I can bum rides. I really like that. All right, so we started at Jupiter, which is ahead. What's up, buddy? Rule number one is always say hello. At a boat show. Oh, goodness. Nortec. Nortec. Wow. Hold on a second. Wait. Wait for it. You know why you're running, so... That's kind of the one thing I don't like. Oh my, my, look at this. Oof. Wow. Guys, we might find Daniel. Actually, Daniel's in the amphitheater tent, which is the engine tent. I don't know, he might be back by now, I don't know. Come here. I'm gonna show you something real quick. Hold on, hold on. All right, look for a cowboy hat. Oh, where's the cowboy hat, Steve? I don't, he's over here. He's, he's here? Going, yeah. Okay, let's ambush him. Let's, you know? can, can you do me a favor? Just tell him I got bad news for you. You're fired. Okay. Okay. Just do it while you're on camera. I, I want to see his response. Sure. Just be like, hey, right, no more out. talk. Yeah, that's it. Daniel. After four years or three years of realizing how much damage you did to us when we we're we got soaked with water, you're fired. If not, you have to call him. All right, let's go. Even more of a reason. He's making us walk, Steve. I sit somewhere watching the chit show. You think so? I think so. Look at him over there. He's trying to sell a boat. How oh, dare him. All right, all right, let's go back. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come here, come here, come here, Steve. Let's just, I need you, I need you to use the dad voice, right? Danny, oh, had a lot of time to think about it, but you're done, man. You're out of here. You're fired for getting me wet. Really? Yeah, like, you That know. was like two years yeah, ago. Yeah, but it's been bothering me, you know? It's a, you sprayed me. Are you sure Alfred didn't have something to do with and it? Yeah, he, got spot, he ruined your camera, did he? Hold Are you on sure? A, hold you're not going to even wait till the end of the boat show? Hold no. on a second. No. Hey, listen, listen. Hold on. Let's, let's give him a chance. If, 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 wait, no, wait, wait. If, if he gives me the SD card he let me borrow. Okay. Uh, we'll, we'll keep him on. Take care, Alfred, here. Then you're okay. Right. SD card fee uh, done? I'm losing $200, but fine. You can keep the SD card. <laughs> well, you can keep, I need a job. You can keep your family. job. Thank you, Daniel. Steve. This guy, Tuppence Marine, guys. Hey, go. Where can they go? Yeah, uh, what's the address? What's the address? Yeah, the Tuppence. 1032, or 1006 North uh, Dixie Highway in Lake Worth. Thank you. And thank you for giving him his job yeah, back. Yeah. I might need an SD card in the future. Thanks, Steve. That's right. Guys, the chit -cho is the chit -cho. So now, I'm telling you guys, Palm Beach is lit. It's on fire. It is the next <laughs> big, big show worldwide. I've called it Alfred Montaner is saying this is where you want to be why not it's palm beach where are you girl where are you guys at 
Where? Ramp 6. Ramp 6. I'm going to see you guys. Okay, Vanquish over there, guys. Vanquish. And I'm going to go. I'm going to go to Amsterdam again. Again, because I went this year. And I'm going to go again. And I'm going to go and see if Tom does a walkthrough of the factory. Oh, boy. Invincible. The 40, what do you guys think? 40 cat. Take it off. It's all right. You're good, man. You're comfortable. 40, right? Badass. If I didn't have shoes on, I'd jump on. What's up with the pilot house one? Really? You gotta sell it to the people in the Pacific Northwest. Northeast. Northeast. Yeah, you, that's where you gotta take that boat. Over here, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work in Florida. It's gotta up, up the yeah. Perfect boat for those areas, and they'll love it because it's a good riding haul. All right. Yes, guys. You know, like. Some people don't realize. Hold on, hold on. Hey, can you guys put me on the nautical network? What? Can you guys put me on the nautical network? Put you in nautical? Yeah. We don't have to Well, just put me on and I'll let them decide. Say what? Put me on and let them decide. Oh, uh... Hey! Hey, Pinchy! You, you don't stop working, dude. All right. What's up, bro? What's your name? Alfred. Alfred? I'm Dylan. I'm Chase. It's Chase. Chase. Nice to meet you. All right, so I'm in. Where are you based out of? Why so many questions? Dude, I mean, look how good looking I am, bro. Just put me on camera. <laughs> We're shooting it. We got to shoot this booth. We're trying to get out of here. But you, all right? But you, look, just quick, put me on camera. You'll see. I'll okay. get you. We don't, we, don't, uh, we don't film like that. Who's the editor? All of us. OK. Do I have to make a phone call? If you want. Am I going to have to play that card? If you want, yeah. Make your call. All right. All right, guys. Hold on. Hold on. What was your names again? I'm Chase. Okay, hold on a second. Oh, my God. Oh, I'm not even going to make the phone call. Why? Because they're going to see the video. They're going to see the video. Watch. Watch. Watch! <laughs> hey. Guys, listen. I give everybody a hard time. But I've been here the longest. So I know. I know the faces. The workers, the hard, the founders, the people who built. Like, I want to see this built. Wow, this is badass. Yo, I'm loving this. Bro, this is so fire. Appreciate it. Literally, it's a fire. Yeah, it is. <laughs> that one is anyway. <laughs> wow, that is beautiful. Where are people putting these? So a lot of them go on hard tops of boats. So we can do them on hard tops. Yeah, some people do them on mailboxes. Uh, we have a special one for the tuna towers that mounts upside down on like the sport fishes. So there's that option there. Um, I mean, really, the options are pretty much endless. Let me ask you a question. If, if you if can you give like a, a code? or something about your flags to my audience. I do the chit show on YouTube, okay. Alfred Montaner. Okay. So, Tom if, would be the one. Tom, come give me your spiel, buddy. I know you. Yes. All right, Tom. How are you doing? I'm breathing, how are you? Good, you're, are you 6'5"? You're, you're smaller than me. No, 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 stay down there. Oh, stay a, down there. You always stay, say you're Stay five. down there. Stay down there. You say you're 6'5". This is free advertising. 6'5", okay. 225 and rip, Tom. <laughs> Don't mess it up. Okay, hold on, Tom. So I'm doing a video of the show. Yeah. I actually run like this. Gun, yes, run and gun. Okay. I'm running gun right now. So, so, so I'm running and gunning, and, yeah. and I know that you watch. So I'm asking well, him. Tom, you okay, I'm asking him. How can I get my audience to get like a coupon code or something so that they know that you know that it came from this video, right? Perfect. So how can we give them some love? If because listen, uh, this right here, I can see this in the chit chat, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah. But I need at least 50 people to buy. 
So if they say they were at the boat show and they saw me, it's all they need to do is call us up or go online. Whenever saw you, Tom. Tom. I saw you on the show. That's it. And you can hook them up, do Contact something. Contact us and we'll, we'll, we'll honor. All of these are, are priced specifically for the show. Okay. Those red numbers. Okay. So they, they range in price. They start from uh, lower, like 200 on up. To listen, on up. you know, listen, you know, this, this is a drop in the bucket. I think this is our most popular. This is going to be our probably most popular. Okay, how much is this right this here? Is, right now, she says 395. 395. Yeah, all aluminum. That's all. Aluminum. Powder coated. Beautiful. Yep. Look at the welds on that. Thing. And this this has the special American made. 100 percent. 100 percent. What what part of America? You're in Florida here. Oh, we're That's making. Where we are. Okay, we're so making so you're making it in Florida. These are powder coated down in the Keys. Okay. Where we we have we have our our, our headquarters are in Naples. Okay. We work up and down uh, from Naples down to the Keys. Okay. But check this out. You see this little groove here? Yeah. It's designed to receive these LED lights. See these lights? Yeah. So you can light up the flag at night. I like Any that. color scheme you want. I, I like Look, we got the RGB lights. You can change the color scheme at night for that. It's really the latest thing. Tom. Anchor light if you want to put on. Make, if anybody says they make want me one, look good. And if anybody says you want one, contact us. And we saw you at the boat show. Watching this is being Alpha's channel. Alpha's channel, the chit show, guys. Hey, thank you. Uh, we love you. We always follow you. I'm his wife. I, lo I love you too. Thank you. Oh, you guys are together. Never mind. I mean, I, I, hey, why are you trying to be seven feet tall now? You're trying to make it <laughs> yeah, down here. Hey, look, five. look how I'm looking down on you. I'm 6'5", 225. Yes, I am. <laughs> I'm 5'1 on a good day. Hey, listen. I'm looking up to you. <laughs> hey, where can they go online? Quick. It's yourlastflag.com. Your yourlastflag.com. Because it will be your last okay. flag when you buy this. I like that. Thank you. We're going to talk. You know I end all my Chicho videos on the flag. Awesome. Thank you. Great to see all right, you. guys. <laughs> yourlastflag.com. Good, good stuff, guys. I love showing some love. Seagate. Uh-oh. There's Tommy. Oh no! Oh no! Get over here! Get over here! I'm running and gunning. Hold on. You want food? Yeah, yeah. You want the food? Come here! Come here, guys! We have a special guest here. No, I'm actually running and gunning. I'm, I'm recording, guys. Josh from Black Tip H. Wait. Oh, hey. All right. Wait. Are you hungry for real? I'm starving. Uh, so bro. am I. Yeah. Where's the food at? Where's okay. Look. Food? Okay. So there's. Hi, right, Davis. I'll call you back, right? There's food, guys. All right. I'm. I'm serious. I haven't eaten. I know. I'm dying, bro. Where's the food at? Oh, hey, listen, talking about food, how was that burger when the, you ate the first burger on the oh, way back? so good. I, I that's how I feel right now. I hadn't, I hadn't eaten in 10 months, bro. I mean, in 10 weeks. That, well, that's how I feel right now. Yeah, I lost all the fat food. in my body. Bro. This guy's eating food. Listen, I, I need to lose all the fat in my body right now, too. But I'm down yeah, for a... You don't uh, want to lose that much fat. No, I, like, I had a shower at night <laughs> to warm up my skin so I could fall asleep, or otherwise I'd freeze to death, with, even with a heated blanket. Wow. Okay, okay, hold on. I'm trying to think back. Okay. Um, there's, I saw food in the back. Hold on. Oh, wow. Hello. How are you? Hold on, guys. Hold on. I'm going to find out real quick. Food is. All right, South End it is. Go to South End. Go to, South end. Go to the South End of the boat show and go have something to eat. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey. Call me later. We're going to have to get a cart. Hold on. Uh, wait, wait. Thank you. Josh, hold on, hold on. We're going to, we're going to, huh? we're going to get a ride. Okay. Hey, that yellow boat? Did you see what's on the yellow boat? Uh, on Showgirl? Donna. Where? Donna. Tell her I'm going to pass by. Yeah. Jo uh, let's let's, let's, let's no, get one of these cars. I think we can jump on a car. What? One of these right here. Jump on a car? Yeah. Oh, I'm going to walk, whatever. I'm saying, but it'll take us. Wait, how far is it? It's pretty far. <laughs> That's what I'm oh. saying. Is it? Yeah, hold on. Isn't it in the central situation? Where's Donna? Listen, let her know, know she we're going to have lunch. I'm going to I'm gonna steal one of your carts. Which one can I take? There's, I don't know. You can't take a cart through here. No, no. 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 I'm working. No. I'm, I'm working. I'm working. John, John I'm working. I'm no working. Cart. I'm going to talk to HR. <laughs> I'm going to get you right now, Atlantic Marine. I'll be right back. I'm going to go have lunch. I'm not. 
Hey, Josh, this, this place is a madhouse. Hey, how, how busy are you, bro? Are you super busy? Busy, very busy, my friend. Bro, no me puede ir para allá. No, papi, voy para allá. Ay, me está matando. No, yo también, me está matando. All right, let's go. Hey, let's go ahead and put some spring in our uh, step. Guys, that's it. I'm not going to record anymore. We're going to go ahead and just find some food. I'm going to have a uh, quick meal with Josh. I, you know, I just sent two kids to, to your booth. Really? And, and you were past, you passed right now. You were literally on the phone right afterwards. I was like, damn, he just stepped out of the booth right now. Yeah. yeah so isn't that always the, the case, though? Happens. Yeah. It's part of it. I mean, I gotta eat too, you know? Yeah, yeah, so, so. Robot, it's just gonna go, hi, how you doing? Yeah, bubble head. <laughs> 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 All right, guys. All right, well, listen, I gotta get some food too and get something to drink. Be right back. All right. You wanna smile? I need, wait, I gotta make sure. <laughs> what do we have here? Lizzie! Hot sauce! Saucy! Hot sauce! Hot Wait! <laughs> Wait, hold on, let me go down the line. Hold on. Okay. Wow. Okay. So, how's business, ladies? Good. It's good? Working nonstop. And, guys, make sure you tip the hardworking young ladies here. Yes. Okay, uh, any advice we got to give the people who are going to come this weekend? And and um, what she said, exactly. Yes. Smiles on, put your freaking hats on. And and I'm going to tell them, the Chicho sent me. All right, the Chicho. You guys better be nice to whoever sends the Chicho. Okay. I'm serious. Wait, we got some lemonade here, some ice lemonade. You can add some rum or vodka if you'd like to. Wait for it. All right, I had one of these earlier. Without the vodka. It was awesome. What do you mean? Guys. All right, we continue, my friends. Uh oh, it's starting to blow. It is starting to blow, my friends. All right, so we're walking, we're talking. Um, hmm. how are we gonna get? Where, what are we gonna do, guys? Let's go. Let's see what happens here. Okay, wait. This is what happened. Okay, I already, I already know what happened. We get the pleasure of seeing hey, you twice. Hey, hey. Did you see Absolutely. what happened? Did you see what happened to me though? Take a no. shot. It's not like. Take a shot of us. Okay. Stop. Hey, why are you getting? Okay, what happened is, I was starting the second leg of my video. Hold on, hold on. Look at this. Second leg. Second leg. And then all of a sudden, Your battery died. I saw Josh from Black Tip, and he's like, "I'm starving," and I was like. You don't have to tell a guy who's 6'5", 225 and ripped that you're hungry. Let's go have lunch. Yes. So now I feel like I'm on Groundhog Day doing the same thing all over again. Oh and you God. guys are here getting a second commercial. Oh, we love you, right? Okay. Absolutely. You want some pictures? Go, go ahead, go ahead, go, go. Here we are. All right, all right. there you go. He's, got, he's got me looking like I'm 5'4". Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. 5'4". Thank you, guys. All right, well, that's what happened, guys. So, um, me and Josh just had a nice lunch. And, uh, yeah, if you don't follow Black Tip H, you should. And I'll tell you, he's, he's learned and, uh, and has a lot of wisdom. Ever since, you know, he went through his battle and, you know. Let me tell you, the closer you get to the man and the Lord, I mean, you see things in a different light. And that happened to me at one point, too. So I, I, I could completely relate and understand. What do we got here? Stingray. What do we got? How much are we talking? Stingray. Give me some pricing, Stingray. I need numbers. Give me numbers, Stingray. 173 cc. Give me numbers. Alfred, can you find a boat under 100K? Yes or no? <laughs> What's the cost of this guy right here? This one is at 37. 37 boat show? <laughs> that includes what? That includes what? Huh? Not boots, everything but the trailer. Everything but the trailer. Where can they go online? 
to find it? Sandandseamarinegroup.com. All right, I'm going to send people your way. You might find a buyer Thank online. Nice. That one's actually already sold. This one's sold? <laughs> but you can get them another one for 37 Yes, sir. Okay, good. It's got a little 90, guys. Whatever it takes. Make family uh, memories. Wait. Where's the black tip guy? Black tip? Okay, so... You, the very first tent <laughs> yep. that you're going to see to your right, yep. not the first aisle, the second one, Got it. to your left. Got it. He's Thank there you. now. Thank you. Yeah, I got you. Thank you. Uh, there you go, guys. There is a <laughs> Wait for it! There he is! Ah! There he is! I was like, where'd he go? The shit show with a C, with a C, not the S. With a C, what's going on? I love your videos, man. Thank you. I love your videos. You Thank you. My, me and my girlfriend get through her stage four of air and cancer because we didn't go nowhere, anywhere. We went down to Black Point last weekend, last Sunday. Okay. I looked for your crosset thing, but I was with my, my uh, stepson and my girlfriend of 24 years. Okay. And your videos helped us get through not being able to go anywhere while she was doing chemo. I see, I, she did I see, I see, six rounds of chemo, three different types at one time, and you helped us pass the time. There you go. Oh. And we used to go down there and watch. We've seen Fred. We've seen the whole nine yards, years and years. I and appreciate years ago, that. Local, but you don't know what an impact sometimes people like us were sitting at home, just not just out of safety because she was on chemo, couldn't go out and get sick, or I yeah. couldn't go and get sick and bring it back to her. But this is what you did for us, and I wanted to say thanks personally for uh, me. Yacht spot, yacht sales, come on, give me. There a you go. He had the third. Right, all right, all right, all right. Damn it, man. I got you. I don't believe anything anymore. No, no, no. I'm just joking. I watched you when the motor fell off the back of the boat. We don't want to talk about that. My only question. I got a question off camera. No, no, there's no off camera question. No, no, no. I got a question. Go ahead. Why did you cut it loose? What did you I, guys, I, I know okay, you, okay, did, you okay, were just there doing the video. Okay, the guy okay, okay, like, don't okay, okay, okay. I was okay. just thinking, don't oh, oh, Okay, okay. But it's a panic situation. Oh, no, no, panic no, 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 situation. no. Okay, so there's three to five yeah, out there. It. Okay, three to five. The suspension. Oh, oh. Okay, that, that's right. That, right? Okay, guys, he's talking about the Sunk Verado series. If you have not that's watched right. it, it's if a playlist. If you haven't seen it, watch it. Yeah. I watch it. I'm a boat guy. I've been doing boats Okay, okay, okay. Look, Boyd, first of all, is a certified badass. Let me say that. Okay, the boat was capable to do what it did. That had nothing to do. <laughs> the bolts were. The, 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 that was the, the problem. It was an it was, it was an error, right? But but we he made a decision. He said it's it's going to cost me less money to just cut this engine off than that engine dangling, messing up the boat and those expensive tubes. Uh, I didn't think about that. But okay, the tubes cost much right? more than that already sunk motor. Right, so he said, "Hey, he listen, didn't want it swinging up in the that's right. Why? Right why? Hey, listen, he he knew it was there, so that's why he made the decision. And he said, like he, said he said, he said, Alfred like is on the damn boat. Alfred is on the boat. He's gonna come back 11 days later and get it and rescue it and make the Sunk Verado series. That's right. Wait for it. Hey, you know Seriously. what? No, no I'm, I meant this to all you people watching. This guy here, he helps people out all around uh, the world, but he doesn't realize it." Okay, because but, his videos are quality, they're decent, they're funny, and he speaks both languages. He don't leave nobody out. He's real. He's real guy. You know I what? Know, I don't know. Some, he has some haters that talk a lot. I do have haters, but don't worry no, about them. Not over all right, here. All right, hold on. But you know what? One thing that I didn't notice though, too, and it's, it's the same thing you just told me right now. How you felt is the same thing I just told Josh from Black Tip H, right? Because he just beat. I mean, he went through a war and battle with cancer. It's, and, it's a, a life-changing. And, and I told them exactly what you just told me. Yeah, it's it, the truth. It's, no, but I'm exactly. my hair stand it, up All right, right but exactly, because I said, you don't know how many people you have helped. I go, you helped me indirectly. I got checked for a lot of things. So? But I did. But you know why? Because he said, hey, listen, give yourself some awareness. We got to make sure that we're not making dumb mistakes, yada, yada. Mm -hmm. And I was like, you know, you, we all think we're invincible. No, until stay we're not positive folks there never give up hope and die trying because you know what you can beat anything that you want to if you just put a little bit of effort and belief into yourself and, and whatever you're dealing with i'm just a doctor give me guy, skin the shirt one time i'm one, telling you what one time one more time here come here guys hey call him up show him some love over here get, take a picture with us 
Send it to him. Absolutely. I'm working. Absolutely. And I meant what I said, we're, we're bro. I, know, I, 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 meant I, what I believe you. I feel your heart, bro. I do. Something a little more than that. I do feel your heart. I want to give his wife. I don't know. You don't like snakes. The pink one. Yes, I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna, gonna order it. Snakes, okay, and I'm gonna, like and I'm gonna give you a ship to address so you can send him the, her the pink. Hat. Okay. And you need to clean your lens, got a little smudge on. You touched my lens. I know he did. No, he did. No, he did. Hold on, wait. You, you did smudge my lens. <laughs> hey, I'm gonna. Are we gonna do something here at Refunder? What are we gonna get on Showgirl? Sure. Let's go. I want to ride it on Showgirl. Where's Donna? I've been trying to meet Donna. Can I get Donna? 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 But where is she? She's right over here. I'll get her for you. Get her. I'll get her right now. Wait for it. Wait for it. Go. What's going on? What's up with you, brother? Welcome aboard. Welcome to the Palm Beach Boat Show. How's it going for you? I haven't stopped. You you know I've been filming the setup. What hat are you wearing today? Because I haven't seen that one. Oh, okay, look, hold it. Right, hold good. it real quick. That's see Fred? That's that yes. The American Fred? Yes. Is this like a marine yes. military it's, Fred? It's Florida Fred. That's that comes that's a new collection that I have I coming like out. It. It's coming out April 1st. Oh, are you messing with us? Because no, 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 this is, this is, this right. is, this is going to be available April 1st. It's, it's really nice. It's, I've been using it for Woo! three weeks already. Yo, guys, check out his merch. Luxury rib tender, April 1st. Look at this. We, you got the Fred the Croc right here. Nice, bro. Okay, how you doing, man? Busy, bro. I'm, I haven't stopped. I filmed the setup with John. This is John's boat, it. okay? I said, this is John's boat. Because we, we were in Miami just like two weeks ago. Yeah. Right? Yeah. What do we got? If you feel like it, give me a call on myself, and I'll send you a T-shirt and stuff, just because I want to. I don't want. Hey. I don't want nothing from it. No, don't worry about advertise it. Advertise my stuff. Don, also, nice it. to meet you. I know. Nice to meet you. Nice too. to meet you. Doing? So, yeah. so no, you no, know, no, I no, get no, every no, other no, day. No, John no, tells no, me, no, when are we gonna go on Showgirl? Oh, okay. When are we gonna go on Showgirl? When are we gonna go on Showgirl? And and this is Showgirl. And I'll tell you, beautiful boat. And I told you to let's do a sea trial. Let's go. I'll set you up. And not only that, but I, I also recommend the 28. John wants to take it to Cuba. And I was like, John, John, this is John's conversation. He goes, because I didn't know the, the boat's name was Showgirl. And he said, hey, why don't we go to Cuba with a bunch of Showgirls? Whoa. That's what I heard. Whoa. And I didn't know that his boat was called Showgirl. And I was like, you know, you, you, you sometimes space out. And I'm thinking, why would he call it Showgirl? He goes, Alfred, where we're at? At the boat show. At the boat show. I was like, oh, I get it. I felt so dumb there. You know who came up with that name? Who came up with that name? Me. <laughs> there you go. Guys, this is Donna from Reef Runner. She builds the most amazing center consoles. And not because I'm a dealer of hers. No, 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 no. no. Because I've ridden the boat and I'm going to take you on it whenever you want. Okay. We'll do the 34 and the 28. Okay. I recommend those two and the 23 as well. I would love for Donna to give you a, a walkthrough. She knows more than me by a thousand times. If you want to do a little so, walk through. So it. you want to walk it, Donald? I would love to walk the boat. I, I would love to show you the boat. Let's go. The way I would show the boat to somebody interested in buying it. Get ready. Let's go. So I'm going to show Get you ready. the tour. It's going down. And the tour, believe it or not, starts right here there on the go. ground. Uh-oh. And this is where I start the tour of my boat. Most boats in this class, okay. you're going to find, because we believe in three things. We believe oh, yeah. in safety. We believe in quality. Okay. And we believe in performance. And notice that I put performance in third place. Safety, quality, performance. And not that the boats don't perform, they perform phenomenal, but there are tenets that I believe in strongly when I design a boat. And one of the things you'll notice, most boats in this size class, and I can mention names because it's not a criticism, boats like Yellowfin and Sea Hunters and other boats out there, this fashion piece comes all the way back to the transom. And it looks very pretty when you look at them from the side, they're very stylish. But what that means is that if you go to step off of a dock onto mm -hmm. the boat, you don't have a spot here. You have to step over the fashion piece. And if we jump aboard, you're gonna notice what I mean. Let's go guys. As you come up. We gotta take off our shoes. This is, oh, yes. this is show girl. We gotta take off our shoes. If okay. you come up and you notice that I have a spot here. So if this were my dock, I can walk over without having to step over the fashion piece of the boat. Okay. So for safety, this is as good as having a side door on your boat. Gives you clean access to your transom. Okay. The other thing you'll notice is that there's no splash well. I designed the boat. Most modern engines, the gear stays fixed and the engines tilt. Therefore, I don't have to have a splash well. So we have a clean transom. We want to tie ropes. If we want to gaff a fish, 
if we want to service the engines, we don't have to worry about twisting an ankle or falling into a splash well. We have usable real estate on the back of the boat. Additionally, what you'll notice before you board, most boats in this size class have a thin acrylic door, a piece of thin fiberglass. This is a real fiberglass, solid, more than two inches. The hinges are four by four by eighth inch Delrin bushings. This is real yacht hinges, yacht hardware, positive locking, rubber sealed. So when you come in, you notice that the hardware is on the outside. If I were here fighting a fish, I don't have a latch stuck to my knees. I have very practical, very good design entry door, like you'd see on a yacht. So did you design this family fishing type? What, what, yes. what was the target consumer? The, the target consumer was fishing family because we wanted a boat that was robust, heavy, uh, able to take very rough seas, uh, fuel economy, and then able to be customizable, so if you wanted it to be a good family boat, you could set it up. So when you say heavy, what are you constructing this with? We're doing solid bottoms. We're gonna, I'm gonna show you a piece of the bottom. Uh, Eric, can you do me a favor and bring me the bottom of the, the bottom fiberglass piece? No, you have the saw, the, I'll be the, right back. <laughs> the, the other thing you'll notice before we, before we look at the, at the bottoms in the construction, you're gonna notice that there's no water channels. You see the decks are clean and straight. I had a boat, I won't mention the brand, that one day I slipped on the deck, put my toe in one of the water channels, and I broke my toe. So I said, when I design my boat, it's gonna have smooth decks. And people say, so what are you doing? Are you letting the water just go down into the bilge? The answer is no. What I do is I actually plumb, and this isn't under, this is actually built into the deck. I plumb so the water flows through here, goes out, and goes out to the scuppers and goes overboard. Okay, run that one one more time because I, I I didn't I I wasn't able. To, okay, show that again. So instead of having a, a groove in the deck, yeah. I actually have a built-in pipe that comes through the deck. The water goes through here, goes out, and goes under the deck and out to the scuppers okay, and overboard. Okay, that, that's, I was able to. So show. you have you have a full drainable deck without having to have water channels in the deck. So what happens, this is a cutout from a through-hole transducer to one of our keels. This is a full inch and an eighth of solid fiberglass on the bottom without foam core. That's our 23 cutout for a transducer, an inch and an eighth thick. We, our laminate schedule throughout on our 28 is the same as our 34, very heavy if you grab that. Oh! <laughs> Guys, beefy, literally. Hey, take that to concessions. I'm sorry, staging, beefy. Yeah, that's, that's, that's beefy. who. Yeah. Beefy. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Beefy, tell, tell, beefy, beefy and staging, tell him. He'll know. <laughs> so the other thing you'll notice that the bilge is finished. There is not raw fiberglass. That's a, a fully finished bilge. It's shiny. This is a customer's boat. It's been on the water for seven months. Yet you notice there's no mildew, no mold. These edges are finished not only for aesthetics but if we were in here working to do something and it was rough out and you were moving and you rubbed up against this edge you wouldn't cut yourself or scratch yourself the way it happens on many brands that especially when it's rough finish. right like that happens it's rough. Absolutely. yeah that happens all the time the hatches are gasketed sealed stainless steel struts stainless steel gem hardware so again finished inside and out we offer uh, many different forms of plumbing uh, so we could do uh, sea chest pumps because we can offer uh, three bait wells so you can do a four pump sea chest two pump sea chest we, we offer any different multitude of configurations these can be just coolers or live wells again this is a 50 gallon this one is 65 where are you guys building this <laughs> in Opalaka in Opalaka so, for those that don't know, Opalaka is, it, is huge when it comes to boat manufacturers in South that, Florida. That is correct. Many, many of the major ones. Yes, Opalaka is marine friendly for business, so Opalaka allows us to pull permits to build boats. Uh, 
and you have uh, concept boats, uh, invincible boats, uh, uh, ourselves, uh, black water. There was uh, many more as well, too. Yes, right? yes, yes. There's been uh, so that whole area has people that 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 are are great technicians that know how to build boats. Yes. So yes. I just want to make that because a lot of people might not know the area. Yeah. And when I think about Opalaka, when it comes to boat building, that whole area it's, has it's a, a lot of people that know about yeah, boat, yeah. boat, it's how good, boat it's building. A good area. It's a good area for boat building. It yeah. is, um, again, we offer a lot of different designs as it comes like even the seat. To me, ergonomics, function, very important. If you notice the seat is tapered back, and the reason I do that is so when you sit in the seat and the boat is running, it doesn't make you slide off. Most people put the seat parallel to the deck. I have my seat tipped back at four degrees so that it locks you into the seat okay. and not and you don't fall off of it. It's a much, much better system uh, for, for uh, an aft facing seat. Uh, I have additional storage here that you can have uh, knives and ropes and different things. I also have a pet peeve against snaps. Snaps on boats rust, so we've done this with magnets so that when you access your tackle box, you want to put your cushion back, you just let it go, the Quick. magnets pull it in, that, and it's... Those are some pretty st strong magnets. Yeah, they're strong. They're 25 pound each magnets. Okay, yeah. So, so it's they, not going to come off in rough weather. No, you're... it's not going to come off when you're running. It's, uh, it's actually a good solid pull to have to get it off there. I see... Uh, all powder coated what, what, what do you got here no, painted this, this product is a, a product that we actually uh, adopted a couple of years ago it's a linear polyurethane based product it's uh, like a rhino liner like what you would see in a bed liner but okay. it's not polyure polyurea based it's polyurethane based so it's harder it doesn't tend to fade in, in the sunlight but the biggest thing is that if you were to damage it you can touch it back up because it's a two-part chemical system. It's not oven-based, so you yeah. don't have to put it like powder coating in a 300-degree oven. This can actually be touched up cold, and it will hold up very, very well. Uh, so this is something that certainly uh, I recommend if somebody wants something that's very durable. It's it's rough so that you can hold on even with wet hands. It's very durable. It's a very nice product. We can't go forward without talking about that live well. I got to talk about that live well because it's all up in my face. That live well, I tell people that the boat comes standard with a, with a jacuzzi. It's 65 gallons. You can actually fit in that thing. It's got the aquarium uh, facade as standard. Most people charge extra for it. We include it. And, uh, and that's the live well that comes standard with the boat. It's pressurized. Uh, it doesn't have to have a stand pipe in the drain. It drains up high so that the, the bait fish don't get beat up in it by a stand pipe. It's very, very, uh, very functional as a, uh, as a live well. And again, 65 gallons, so you can put lots of bait in it and uh, it's gonna give you the, uh, it's gonna give you the resources you need to go out there and get live So bait. let's go a little bit forward. <laughs> I've, I've lost my voice in this whole show. I've, I've literally had so much fun already that I've lost my voice in this whole show, guys. So, First show I have that I can't talk. Everybody's you, happy. They're <laughs> like, Alfred's not talking today. Yay! <laughs> as you come forward, you're going to notice certain things that you don't see often on other boats. Um, I have certain pet peeves, and one of my pet peeves is I hate to drag dirty gas hoses over my boats. So if you'll notice, there's fuel fills on this side. But if you look over to this side, Same you're going to notice that there's fuel fills here. Yeah. So we have all of our fuel hoses crisscross and we have two hoses to each tank, one from either side. Therefore, no matter how you pull up to the fuel dock, you can fill from that side of the boat. How, how, how much side. fuel capacity can you hold? The capacity is 400 gallons in this boat. We have a 300 gallon main center tank with 50 gallon wing tanks. So our saddles hold 100 and the main holds 300. So there's three tanks in total? Three tanks in total. Okay, nice. Uh, and fillable again from either side. And uh, you'll notice also that we have a footrest down low so that if you're leaning up driving, you can unload your knees and have a place to put your feet. You don't have to sit here and, and struggle. So that's very important because most people give you this footrest, but not one down low. Yeah. So this gives you both. Uh, the console is tapered downward as it goes forward so that you always maintain visibility with the bow. Even if you pull your sight line down, you're gonna notice 
that you still have contact with the bow of the boat. Uh, even sitting on the seat, you have contact with the bow of the boat. And that's just... I, I really like the color. I, I mean, I told, I, I told uh, Alfonso that last time. I really like it. And then I found out that it was John's boat. And then John was like, hey, I got, I got an idea. Let's film the set setup of Palm Beach. Oh, that would so be... So I filmed the whole setup of how they built the show. Oh, beautiful. beautiful. It's a lot of work. It is a lot of work to it's build It's a, a one-time series, never again. <laughs> it's a lot of work. And just watching those that team work was crazy. Yeah. No, no. We, we, uh, I happen to have a, uh, a side business besides building boats. I do some work for the boat show. Okay. Uh, one of my roles here at Palm Beach was the the water permits. Okay. So all of the all of the water hookups, all of the bathroom hookups, all of that was. Uh, so indirectly, you were a part of the setup too. Yes. Oh yes. my God! What yes. is this? This is crazy. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it's so many, so, so many, many things. So many facets. Yes. And the international and, everything. And yeah, that's why that's them. why yeah. I wanted to show the people because people just come to this show and they're like, Hey, it's all here. So we at the at the Miami boat show. There are about two and a half miles of floating docks. Yeah. I put fire protection. When you see those standpipes that the fire department can hook up to, yeah. I do fire protection for that boat show, all of that, and we test it, we flow test it, we pressure test it, we do all of that before the show can start, even though those boat docks have to be disassembled, move the boats in, reassemble to luck. All of that so how long have you been protected. building boats, Donna? I've how? been building boats for seven years now. We're seven years? Our, yeah, we're in our seventh year. S and, and, and all started in Opalaka? Yes. What yeah. inspired you to make them? So I, I've been, uh, I've had two passions, planes and boats. And uh, it's on my bucket list. Good, I might good. build an airplane still. We don't know, but but certainly it was a passion. Hey, go to Boeing. They need help. <laughs> <laughs> I think I can help them. I think oh, we can do a little no. better than Boeing's doing. Shots fired! No, 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 Shots I'm, fired! I'm not a part of Hey, wait a second. Somebody disappeared the other day. Let's go to the bow just in case. <laughs> Come on, let's go. Come here. All right. So yes. Um, so that's cool. But you know, I, I, I want people to know the background yeah. of the individuals who make the machines that make memories for them yes. right because yeah. that's awesome when you see people that have a passion for something you've had your own scenarios yeah. you've learned from and you said hey listen i got scratched one day with one of the lids i'm never gonna have to happen on my boat Correct. right Correct. so and that's when that's why i enjoy seeing all these different boats built by different people for different styles. there's never gonna be a perfect boat i tell people that all the time you can strive but all of a sudden, somebody is 5'1", a, a or 5'2". 5'7", bro. 5'2". A, a, boat, a, boat, a boat, I tell people happily, I tell people a boat is a four-letter word that spells compromise. Yeah. On a boat, there's no such thing as everything being perfect. Everything you do that benefits you in one way, perhaps, uh, is a compromise in another way. The best boat is four boats because... The best boat would be a big mega yacht for us to live comfortably and have a crew to tend to us. Then having a boat, like a 34 footer to put in the water to go fishing on. Yeah. Then having a flats boat to be able to go back and go back country. A dinghy, right? a little inflatable. You gotta and put then, inflatable and then, in there. And then, and then we have to have a rib to be able to get there, to shore. There you go. We have to have a rib to get to shore. Yes. So you need four boats to have the perfect boat, in my yeah. opinion. But what I strive to do in the boats that I build is to incorporate as many things that I've learned over my 63 years and of those 63 years, probably 54, 55 boating. And that is all of the things that you ne I never want to have to change a fuel pump or I mean a water pump or a, a bilge pump through a little hole this big. Yeah. I want to be able to have full access to all of the hardware, to all of the elect electronics. Yeah. I want to have rigging that's fully identifiable. I want to have uh, hatches that are safe. I, I literally, I want to be able to, to take the pet peeves that of all the boats that we've had over the years and fix them. I was inspired by boats that I've renovated in the past. Mm -hmm. And I said, you know what? I want to do this. I'm going to do just one, and one has turned into 65. And, and uh, yeah, that's and that's how it usually is. So you guys have the 34, and then this one is a 28. 28. Okay. So we got seating here. We got a, a, a small 
we're gonna talk about the console. Tell me about the layout here towards the front of the boat, right? So, so what do we got going so, on here? What, what are some configurations that people can consider? So I've done four different configurations for okay. this bow. Okay. Con one of the configurations is this. You have the forward console seat yeah. with the big bench seats that have, as you can see, toe kick at he, the bottom. He looks like Vanna Wright right now, Donna. What do you yeah. think? Yeah, yeah. Yes. Vanna? Pat, Pat Sajak will be proud. Very comfortable. You'll, you'll notice that we have, the modules have toe kick, so you're not kicking them. You don't have, you don't bust your toes when you walk by them. They have toe kick. They're fully insulated, so they double as storage or coolers. And they're modular, so you don't have to have them. If you choose to have the boat without these seats, you can have an open bow and just have the seat that you're sitting on now in front of the console and have an open bow. You can have these seats, that's option number two with the seat in front of the console. Option number three would be not having these seats and having the lounger that comes out to here with the big coolers. Oh, I can see under that. The seat. Really I can nice see that. Very nice I, setup. I, I, I could see that. I like. I, I would like. I, I would. I would like that rather than this. Yeah, yeah. But this is showgirl, so you know. Showgirl with the girls, you know. Showgirl. Option four is the great big coffin box, so you don't get these seats. You get a great big coffin box here. Great option now as well. That Fisherman diehard will love that's that. What I like too. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And uh, that option can be configured with a seat facing forward. It can be configured with dual compartments, rod holders on the sides. We have photos that we can share with people to okay. show that configuration as well. So ultimately, uh, four options. This I is the storage that. on the sides. Where you All finished, no exposed fiberglass. I see, I see that. I'm gonna cut you very I see, it, I see that. Okay. So, I'm not gonna go to Cuba with John. No. It's not gonna happen. I'll be that guy on the news. Let's go. You let me know. I'll set that up. I'll bring you know how much shit I've talked at the boat ramp. Uh, you, you, I want to come back. Yeah. Right. Oh, we Alfred's missing. Where is he at? Right. Right. So, maybe 16 miles offshore, and I'm in. Okay. <laughs> I'll take With the home. U.S. Coast Guard in the background. Yes. <laughs> I'll All take right. you out. If you want to go fishing, we'll get my man Junior on the boat too. All right. Let's go. All right. I mean, okay. Where can they get more information, Donna, of the boat? I, I can't. We can't, we'll be here for days, right? Because you put so much energy and you know this boat forever. I'm walking this entire show, hopefully, before tomorrow's rain. How would they get in contact with you? The way to reach us is uh, through Atlantic Marine Store. Locally. Our, our, our local dealer in Miami, Fort Lauderdale's Atlantic Marine Store, Palm Beach, uh, and other places. People can reach us directly at www.reefrunnerboats.com. If you look us up at reefrunnerboats.com, you're able to get on there, get information. You're able to do a price request, build sheet requests. You can contact me directly at 954-914-2822, 954-914-2822. It's my personal cell phone that rings to me What's 24 the build hours time? a day. Build time, depending upon which boat and what our backlog is. Right now, to get a 34, you're looking at about 11 to 13 months. To get a 28, you're looking at about seven or eight months. To get a 23, it's about five months. What What do you think you're gonna sell the most uh, in Miami, Alfonso? Look, in Miami, we did really good with the 34. Yeah. 34 was a big hit. And then before that, it was a 23. But the 28 is the monster. I think it's the in-between boat. It's for that customer that doesn't want a single engine, but wants twins, but you know, maybe doesn't have the space for a 34. That's where the 28 comes in. And it's it's a 28, but to me it's a 30. It, it's uh, like a 30 compared to the 28 and this is a 34. Alfonso, aren't, aren't you posting this on your Instagram? What's your Instagram? AtlanticMarineStore.com. You will see this boat on your site. Absolutely. Guys, I ran out of voice. I think I'm gonna have to call it a day. Yeah. I'm gonna have to work in the rain, guys. Tomorrow, we continue from Reef Runner all the way that way. Another 16 miles. Have you seen how big the show yeah, is? Yeah, big. show's big. It's a it's, big show. It's, sure. it's grown so much. And uh, I came to when this John decided to make this the biggest show ever. Yeah, you put that Intrepid right there. You, 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 how cool was that, huh? I filmed that. That's a 50 footer. 51. 51. Hey, don't take out that foot, Donna. Oh, okay, yeah, foot counts. It was, it was a pleasure. It's Thank my you pleasure. so, Thank my you so pleasure, much. Alfred. We'll Thank be in contact. 
Um, I, I know they love the boat because they've seen it in Miami, but there's people that are going to catch it on this video as well. Guys, let's go. We're going to call it a day. Boom. Hey, before you call it a day, I want to do something. What? Hey, I think I saw your friend. Which one? The guy with the cowboy hat, but I didn't know if Guajiro. it was him. I didn't know if it was him. Yeah, it was him. He was here. He passed by. I, 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 well, I didn't want to feel want to like... Black you, don't, you. you don't even have to film this. I want you to look at something just because... No, let's do it. I'm still filming. Go. Show me. Look at the hull and deck joint. The way this boat gets put together. How this piece, this piece, and the hull all come together. There isn't a boat in the industry that has that box beam construction. It's very clean. You don't see raw fiberglass. You don't see exposed hardware because the inner liner comes up and over the hull. It matches the inside of the hull and then the cap goes by the outside and all three come together to form a box beam. It's all methacrylate, flexes nice. together and screwed and you don't see the exposed screws because the screws wind up in the box beam. It's the strongest hull and deck joint and the cleanest hull and deck joint in the industry. Donna, I beg you to check other boats. Make a plane. I want to ride it. <laughs> Wait for it. Hey, I'm out of here. I have no voice. For real. Thank you. Guys, I'm out of here. In the middle of the video, we can say, hold on. After the phone is done. <laughs> Guys. Thank you. First of all, we're at Ryland. Okay, what happened? Uh, well, to me. Okay. Guys, I gotta tell you this. Achievement, go ahead. Somebody lost his phone at the show. I lost it in an Uber. I know. I don't know how he didn't think about calling his own cell phone before. When he got here, we call, and an Uber driver has it. So he's, so he's I, paying for somebody's Uber, right? Hopefully, somebody's gonna give me a call here while we do this video. Let's, okay, listen, some people don't even know about you, right? Yeah. Rylan, the sharpest knives I've ever used. Yes, they own him force. The metal runs all the way through. The balance point's always located on the handle, so it gives you the perfect feel to your hand right there. And just to show you guys, no pressure, just sliding that blade through right there. That steel will hold the edge, but it's very easy to maintain that sharp right there. Now, here at the show, we have everything on sale. Everything is running between 40 to 50% off now. All our followers get that 50% off for sure. What's the code? Coupon it's, code? It's GIFT50. 50. 5-0, five guys. GIFT50 yes. on the website, right? On the website, Where's yes. Satanas, guys? This and is the one here. I call Satan, guys, at my house. I have this one. It's so sharp, it's scary. It's scary, guys. It's scary. Look at that. She's not even, she's, she's just gliding it. Okay, oh, that's him. Okay, put it on speaker, put it, put it on speaker, put it on speaker, put it on speaker. Hello? Hello? Hi, how you doing? I'm pulling up. Okay, you're right there by the amphitheater? I'm crossing, I'm at the stoplight at all over right now. Okay, I'm gonna walk over there. Can I use your phone real quick? All right, all right, guys. All right, all right, hold on, hold on. I'm walking over there right, right quick. Okay, I'm. You said that you're by the. I live in Daytona. You're on. Okay, you're on Daytona. Okay. I'm on Daytona. I'm gonna. I'm about to cross Olive when the light turns green. Okay. All right. So, it's kind of not far from where you picked me up. Okay, okay, I got you. I'm, uh, let's see, unless we hear him crossing right now, so I'm coming up to near where I picked you up, actually. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, I'm, I'm further straight, so if you go straight from where you picked me up, just go straight, and it's the very next one, which is Avernia. Are you on, uh, Nar Nar Narcissus? Yeah, I'm on Narcissus Avenue and, and, and Avernia. Okay, so I'm turning right on Nar Narcissus. Is that you? Do you see me with a camera? Yeah, yeah. I oh see you. shoot, dude, this is crazy. <laughs> all right, <What's> all right. <laughs> Wait for it. Oh, dude. Hey. What's going on, man? Oh my goodness, I, I I'm filming. Hey, what's up? Hey, you saved me, dude. Dude, I got you, man. Dude, no Uber for the win. My bad. I got hey, you. thank you so much, bro. I got you, bro. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hey, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, hold on. All right. Hold on. Oh my god, I want to give you a tip, but I lost my wallet now. No, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Here, 
thing happened to me, man, I would be, uh, I would be, I would be miserable. So Here, look. I appreciate you. Thank brother. you so much, Thank dude. Thank you, man. Good luck hey, with everything. Hey, have a good day, bro. Right, Guys, Thank Uber you. for the win. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow. All right, hold on. Oh wait. That is what really happens here, guys. Go no, and get this. My pass, everything is here. Oh my goodness. Hold on. What's up, buddy? I just we just came out. Let me see your thing. Hold Every on. Every time you go in and out, I gotta here, see here, that. Here, here, here. You do it. Thank you, bro. All right. Um. Hold on. She's gonna think this is hilarious. Hold on. No, no, don't start, don't start, don't, don't start that, don't start that. <laughs> guys, hey, well, how can they get reach out to you one more time? Oh my goodness. All right, goodness. guys, here, you can either call me at 321-693-6761 or email me, rylandknives.fl at gmail.com. Don't you guys do corporate events? Yes, we do a lot of corporate gifts. If anybody's looking for a gift, what we do is we put a logo right on the plate for you guys. We can put your customers' names or the logo right on the handle. They make beautiful gifts. We put it on the gorgeous boxes like this, and this gives you that really nice presentation gift. And everybody loves them. Hold All on my a second. Corporate gifts are really, really nice. All right, well, listen, Alfred Montaner, guys, this is the end of the show. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Oh, wait, this, this isn't, it's crazy, dude. Wow. Hey, guys, on Saturday, we're doing the giveaway. Remember. Thank you. You, you saved me. <laughs> hey, show your hat. Show your hat. Guys, luxury rib tenders. April 1st is a new drop. She's got the, the brand new Calentona. I'll see you later. Thank you so much. Guys, wow, she can't, hey, guys, super, 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 super thankful. So, everybody I said hello to, I went to Daniel. Daniel didn't have no, my phone. Everybody, my phone just disappeared. So, whatever, long story short, I got my phone back. Crazy day, uh-oh. Uh oh. Wait, we got one more. Hold on. We got one more stop. Wait for it. One more stop. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. Put me in, coach. Trying to do some business, man. Wait. Hey. Put me in, coach. Hey. We're here. We're good, bro. <laughs> Okay. Guys, you Black Tip H, go. I had a guy in Atlantic City at the Bocho come up to me. He's like, hey, buddy, are you good? Are you hungover? I'm like, what do you mean? Nice. <laughs> you I, pulled me out from your show in Atlantic well, City. Well, listen, it's the first day of West Palm, right? So we're good. Oh, we're, we're, uh, Black Tip what's watch, the booth watch. number? 307. I can do 307. The whole thing. I can do the okay, hold on, guys. You know what we're going to have to do just for, like, jokes? We're going to have to get, like, a, a blue tape with... With just a line, right? <laughs> and the last day, we'll do it for the last day. And every morning, yeah, you see I'll come. I'm in for that. <laughs> All right, guys. All right, so what do we got? Do we got some stuff? I know that you guys got some stuff going on. I'm really feeling this right here. I got bl that black straw hat. <laughs> Bro, listen, I don't know. I, I'm feeling kind of black. I'm wearing my black uh, Chicho gear right now, guys. But what's up? What do you guys think? What else do we got? Jake tells shows. Shows. Right All of our new SPF. Okay, pull hoodies. one out. Pull them. These are hoodies, guys. Hey, listen, stay. Live right now? No, no, I'm not live, but but I'm actually going. I'm filming. Yeah. You know what just happened to me, Jake? Talk to me. Dude, I left my phone in an Uber. No. Yeah. 
And? Luckily, another vendor that is a friend of mine called him and he answered and he came right back. Did you tip him? Of course. Yeah, good. Of course, dude. Of course. I yeah. I lost uh, about three AirPods and Ubers and uh, they're all over Florida now. And they use them. So Let's go. They, they never brought Did them Did you back. sign them? <laughs> I, always, like, I always go on like ping my AirPods. Yeah. And it's like, it gives me a warning about like loud noise. With oh, the so <laughs> that's when I hilarious. Using it, I just go on there and I ping it. <laughs> that's funny. And the guy's like, ah, my ears. All right, hold on. Wait, we got the plushies, right? Got the plushies. All right. I, I told you guys we need we need a, a crocodile plushie, an American crocodile. It's gonna trip guys. The plushies, the kids love this stuff. The waterproof hats, what's up with those? Those did really well in Miami. Yes, sir. Throw the water, everything's good. How's the fishing been lately? Good. Black Tip H guys, if you don't watch them on YouTube, you gotta watch them. They're monster fishermen. Incredible. So I'm loving the Palm Beach show. Yep. I'm actually ending this video because I'm done. Yeah, you're done. Yeah, think about it. I just almost lost my phone. Get over here. Stop trying to run. Stop trying to run. Get over here. Get over I'm here. here. Buddy. Your, I'm here. your wife is like, who did I marry? <laughs> who is this man? Why does he say that? This, guy, this guy's got a yacht. Oh, is that what it is? Let's go. What's up, bro? Everyone that comes and buys anything. That's his house and that's his boat. Let's this go. Okay. Oh. Right? <laughs> All right. So what's up? Guys, what do I have to do to what? What, what, what are we gonna win? I run yacht charters. Okay, so what? Uh, okay, okay, so where, how can they do it? Quick, yeah, tell me. They come to this Black to Page booth during the boat show. Anything you buy, you get an entry to win a four-hour charter on board a 62-foot vessel. All right. Um, and any other any other charters you need, you, we have Instagram or just. What sizes right do we have of these right here? All we got everything. All right. Small to uh, three extra large, man. Okay. I'm gonna get a 2X right now, and we're gonna rock Black Tip H on the show right now. Let's go. Right now, I'm gonna buy it, I'm gonna get an entry, and if I win, you're gonna take whoever wins on my behalf, and I'll film it. Done. I'm serious. Let me tell you, I'll shake on that. His boats work differently. Uh, bro, listen, oh, hold on, let me give you my right hand. There you go. Look, guys, it's, it's shook on it. This is real. Hey, and I'm gonna, next, at the end of the show, I'm gonna bring a blue painter's tape, and we're gonna put it right here. Right here, right, right here, right here. Guys, it's gonna happen. Hey, Black Tip, Black Tip H, I'm just happy I got my phone back, bro. Yeah, dude, bro, you know what a mission? Oh, look at that, there he is. Oh. Wait a second. What's this? You just fell into a big trap, Josh. Oh, Josh says, Josh says he's kind of missed the chit, the chit show uh, circles. Yeah. We're gonna have to introduce him to. He comes by every show for his channel. He just. First of all, just want you to know I prayed for you. Thank you and so it's, much. And I'm happy yeah. to see you the way you are, bro. Thank you. Thank you. I, man, let me tell you something. You are a wealth of inspiration for people that are down and out. You made many people, like myself, a believer. And I want to tell you that personally. So. You made many people like you? A believer. Oh, that's awesome. Dude, let me tell you something. You were so strong in your faith yeah. that. At your lowest, you still didn't doubt. And, and to see you here at the show, that's awesome, dude. That's a good microphone clip. Well. That's the ones we use. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're going to have to talk off camera YouTube stuff. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hey, so what's up with the fishing? What, what's new fishing-wise? Where are you guys going? Because I saw your video in Jordan, you right? came back from Bahamas. Bahamas, anything interesting that we could talk about? No? It's not always fun in rainbows? It was a tough, tough, tough trip. Hey, listen, there's always fun behind the scenes stuff. You got to do those videos too. No, no, we do, we do. Um, I try things that we've never tried before. And yeah. I don't, don't want to talk about them because I want to, I don't want to give other people my ideas. I, I can understand that again. We were talking about that earlier. Everybody's competition now. So you got to move quietly and do quietly. But you guys are innovators. You guys yeah, from yeah, the yeah. beginning. Cause I remember talking color correction with you here at one of the shows one time. Yeah. yeah, yeah. We we're talking literally color correction. And you're like, look, you know this, this and that, and I was like, oh boy. I mean, he's way up in his game, so, yeah. hey. No, man, like going back to the whole cancer, that's a whole nother uh, conversation that- I'll tell you. There's a lot I learned from that, dude. But the number one thing is, no matter what happens, the Lord will provide. Yeah, dude, it's deep. Because, no, no, it, 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 I mean, if you're not, when you lose everything, like everything, like, and you, you can't control your health, when you lose your health and, and you lose everything else, like you're just like, you don't have money to left, you know? Yeah. You gotta just put your trust in the Lord. And it, it is, uh, it's 
a very amazing uh, journey that I'm actually grateful I went, went through. You know, yeah, that's I, crazy. I wouldn't be the man I am today if it wasn't for cancer. It, yeah. it was a good thing. So, yeah. Well, it, it worked out at the end, and I'll tell you right now, you've, I'm sure you inspired thousands of people because, like I said, in, in, your, in your trials and tribulations, you help people, whether you knew, you knew it or not. Oh, I know. You know, and I'm still, sure you... There's still a lot more to help people. Yeah. There's a lot of broken people in this world that need, that need to be put on the right track. You know? Yeah. You know, there's nothing in this world that can put you on the right track. There's no amount of money, possessions, there's no amount of... Uh, you Jimmy John. Success, the yeah. amount of success that you can know. And one thing I learned, your success will not comfort you when you're laying there in the hospital. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't care about you. It doesn't matter how successful you are, it's irrelevant. And you know it's what? Irrelevant. It's all that matters is how did you treat people. That's right. Because those people will come back and visit you. That's right. I, I, I was in the hospital with a lot of people that were dying, and I had a lot of visitors, and a lot of people didn't have visitors. Yeah. They were there alone. I always tell people you are your own currency. You are your own what? You are your own currency. Like yeah. when you get stuff done without money, right? Because people want to help you yeah. because you help them, you know? Always, always make yourself available. And you know what I learned? Um, there's never an end to opportunity in this world. There's never an end to it. it will, there will always be more opportunity. It will, it, it's even the devil himself will tempt you with opportunity. But never allow opportunity to rob you from a relationship. Good advice. Dude, you got a lot of golden nuggets. I'm going to talk to you off camera, guys. Alfred Montaner. Hey, well, along the way, these guys were holding it down. Yeah, we've yeah. been, we've been, you know, we've been through our own little missions. And yeah, I'm sure yeah. you've been watching stuff on YouTube and stuff like that. So, yeah, I'm going to get a shirt now. I'm going to buy a shirt because I want to get that. And, yeah, guys, yeah. wait for it. Alfred Montaner Magazine, Palm Beach 2024, booth 307, Black Tip H. Come over here before the show's over. We're out of here.